No, 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 it was a comment. Yeah. Anyway, we're live now, so yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, welcome to Team Rad Titan. Today is our 200th chat, so this is coming up to, what is that, nearly four years? Nearly four years of shows. Uh, I'd probably spread over a six-year period, knowing me and Alex, but, you know, you've got four <laughs> years, almost four years' worth of stuff. We're joined by the, uh, you know, our good friend. It was quite hard with the 200 show. We really wanted to have a guest on, but we wanted somebody that actually you know, we, we care about. And uh, we've got Phil Gunderson on, who, uh, you know, the one of the half of uh, the Darth Castle team. Uh, he's going to be joining us for the, this week's chat. So thanks very much, Thor, for joining us, my brother. We appreciate it. Oh, man, uh, I'm honored. I appreciate it. I'm glad you had me on. It's just for the fact that it's the 200 show, man, that I'm really, uh, really grateful for being on, man. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Were you guys well, sure. on the 100th show? Yeah. Uh, in two weeks, it'll be the 100th show. I don't know, no, but was you on our 100th show? I don't know. I don't think so. No. No. Because I remember you, you were on one. How the, you're fuck, on one you done, how the fuck How the fuck have you on 100 shows? Do you do, what do you do on every Every, every week. Yeah, we, we haven't stopped. Uh, so we've been on for two years. So that's every week. So, you know, 52. You, have, you, have a, you, haven't, missed, you haven't missed shit, man. They're much, they're much better than us. They'll overtake soon. Uh, Martin Spice, congratulations there. Thanks very White, much, man. Racing has got footy back on the TV. Toppy over a large portion of Rad Titan. Things are looking up. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Alex and G on 200 chats live from Wales. Hope all's coming along well with your uh, DIY project there, Robbie. Uh, Nicholas, let's do this in the gym. He is at the moment. Uh, Joe, 200 pie. Uh, Be dub free, yo yo. <laughs> yeah. Born, born midget TV, straight to the record book. Uh, Cole Knowles, happy 200, Alex and Geo. Thanks for everything you do. Cheers, brother. Thanks, man. Uh, George, uh, Richard Gauthier, Yo. Stuart Murray, and Punisher XS. Red Tide's my favorite statue reviewers. Can't believe they're not getting as a lot of subscribers. It baffles me. It baffles us too. Um, <laughs> did you finally fall asleep? It only took 200 shows. <laughs> it's because you're like snoring at the end. Uh, Vass Rod yeah. in the house. <laughs> Fuck you, Vass. <laughs> uh, stuck on Bonferno. Uh, Spartans. They're all going on to each other there. Um, and Happy JCG, I just saw as well. Chris K. Evil Nook. That's a new one, though. Yep. Yeah. Evil Nook. Uh, William Wright. Joe Figure. Thank you. Joe Figure. Yeah. Uh, Happy JCG, though. I knew he was there. It's probably like go uh, figure like that, like a joke. Yeah. yeah. Uh Macklin five 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 five. Yep. Uh hey. Archangel in the house as well. Uh, uh Shadow 32. Uh yo yo. Uh great to see you guys. Happy JCG again. Big Daddy Kane, Chris K, Nocturnal, Set Your Review, and Cody Spencer. Okay, that flew through pretty. that. Thank you very much, pe people, for joining us. We're going to try and give you the news, have a little chin wag, try and have a little bit of banter, and uh, just basically touch base with everyone and see what's been going on out there. So, obviously, throw your questions in at Thor Gunderson as well as uh, as well as us. If you have anything specific you want to ask him, you know, I'm fucking loving the uh, live unboxing things, man. The joint unboxing things you're doing. That's the last like a first. I've not never seen that before. So that's something you can put next to your name. Yeah, um, you know what, well, you know, me and Rodney started out and I claim the fame was alive in boxings. And then, you know, as we as we grew and, and uh more people joined our cast, you know, we hooked up with Bob and Ohami and a Tim. And you know, they they're all big X-Men crew, and you know, a lot of times they get the same piece at the same time. I'm like, well, why don't we just all unbox it at once? You get different perspectives and different ever, ever get it where that like two people have like got it. And then one person's got it, and there's is broken or some shit. That's got to be fucking. That's got to um, be great. That I don't think that's happened yet. <laughs> oh, like maybe a little a chip or something, but uh, nothing too major as of yet. No. But, uh, yeah, I think. Um, uh, what was his name? Ed Dude had like a missing part or something, didn't he? But yeah, but like you, you know, when there's like a when there's the group one, you got like three people opening yeah. around the same time. And then obviously, like you're like, oh, here's the arm, here's the arm, and I'm just waiting for the day where it's like, here's the head, here's the exclusive head. Where's my fucking exclusive head? Or you know, it's yeah, like somebody missed the brother, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about like uh, where you know, obviously, someone fucking loves it, and someone just comes on and goes, this is a pile of fucking dog shit, you know. I think um, they're too polite, man. I don't know if they're able, I don't know if they're going to play that game. I mean, if I had something wrong, it would be it would be the end of the show. Like I'd be like throwing microphones <laughs> across the room, and it go really badly wrong for everybody. 
you know, yeah. I wouldn't be able to contain it. But I think they're pretty cool. They're like on the level, like, yeah, we're on camera here. Let's not, let's not get out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far, so far it's been nothing really negative has happened. You know, last one, I think, big one we had was Colossus, the sideshow Colossus. Yeah, and, I, seen, uh, I saw some fantastic pictures of that. I think it was Blinoff. I love his pictures, Stephen. Is it Stephen Blinoff? Yeah. Might yeah. be Stephen Blinoff. He did some great shots. Now, I actually, I thought these pictures look good. What do you think of that Colossus piece? You like it? I like it. Um, Actually, the guy that uh, does my statue repair, he doesn't live too far. He has, he's selling it actually because he's just like out of space. He's got a lot of those uh, Franco X Men pieces and like, because I saw that rogue when that thing is gigantic. And so yeah. he, he just doesn't have any place to display it. But I, I like the Colossus. Um, I think out of all the, the quarter scale ones, I think I think that's my favorite one. I haven't seen the uh, the XM one come out obviously yet, but uh, yeah, that that was really nice. Have you got anything in that's new, man? Have you got any any good shit? Yeah, just I yesterday uh, I got the uh, Zion Art Darth Nihilus. Uh, I sent Alex some pictures, so I, he's, yeah. he's like he's down here, so I can't really. Yeah, I think three, I've got uh, your. I think I've got your unboxing to watch. It's like quite long, like forty minutes or something. something. It, it went into an hour, but I mean, I'm telling you, after putting this thing together, I need to soak in some Epsom salt because I mean, it was like <laughs> it, it was. It, it's, this thing is like in layers because he's got like his legs and like his bottom robe and then his body and then like he has like a. It's not a cape, but it's supposed to be part of his robe and like. I couldn't fit this freaking thing in his back, and it was like. And then meanwhile, to make his saber work. His, his, the cable goes through the body and through the bottom part, and you got to fit it and like align it all perfect. And it took oh, me like wow. three times. You know, I, I couldn't get it done on camera. Taylor, he, it was two of us unboxing. He got his done, but I had to go back later and, uh, and do it. But when it was done, it's, it's fantastic. I got I got to ask you this question because you, you're doing the live unboxings and you're digging it and you're loving that sort of shit. But do you, uh, you mean, Alex? Sometimes we come off, we start, we talk, and we say, you know, that sometimes we feel. Or like on camera, there's just too much stress with a live on box because we don't edit anything like you. Right. So, you know, if you edit it and you take your time and you cut and you take your time and you cut, it's it's probably easier. But when you're trying to get the actual genuine feeling of something, them cuts are really costly. Um, so keeping it running so you can get your whole perspective is probably the, the most authentic unboxes you can have. Mm -hmm. Do you ever come off there and feel like that you missed out on the piece? You know, like... I don't know. Let's say you go to the beach or something. You see a load of fucking dolphins in the beach, and you grab your phone out, and you're like mm -hmm. filming them for twenty minutes, and then they go. You put your phone away from your face, and you're like, "Shit, I just missed that." I was so worried about what everyone else could see on the phone that right. I'm, I don't think I saw it from my own eyes and my own perspective. Do you ever feel like that with an unboxing? I don't. Um, I always love like sharing it with people and the the, the live interaction that you get, and um, it, I've never. I've never felt that way. It's it's always it's, I used to, I actually miss uh you know before we had all this technology when me and Rodney actually did the unboxing together in in the room you know I used to really enjoy that I mean I still enjoy it now but uh no I've, I've never felt that way I just I like sharing it with the, with everyone you get the live interaction what people think and sometimes you get like well did you see this and I'm like oh no I didn't see it. and you unboxing the piece you didn't see it but like you said you know you don't notice everything so no I, I've always loved it. <clears throat> You know, <laughs> we got we got to a stage of that man. We, I think we were just like a bit like fuck. It's so stressful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I do? This, 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 with these uh, custom ones, it's hard. But like when it's a license piece, when I know it's coming, I like watch everybody's unbox. So like you know where everything goes, and it's not really a big problem. So I'm the opposite with that though. Yeah, he does so, do that. I'm the so opposite though. If I know. I have something coming and it's going to be there within the next couple of days. I won't watch. I won't watch anything. I literally will just be like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. And I want it to be totally fresh when I when I right. get out of the box. So for me, which is probably a big mistake because I'm a bit clumsy and whatever else. So yeah. I should probably watch those reviews. But I like to do it the other way where I'm totally surprised and I don't. You know, I'm seeing it for the first time, which yeah, is why. Yeah. Which is why. So when I when I was looking forward to the Guyver pieces. Uh, when I was doing loads of traveling, I was really, really happy that I never got to see the Guyver pieces in any of the conventions I went to before I got them at home. And I was really happy about that. I think I agree with you. I think um, that moment when you open it all up and it's you're seeing it for the first time, I think that's like a, it's quite a sweet moment. Well, I got a monster coming next. I got the XM Alien is coming uh, beginning of August. 
because uh, so, uh, we had uh folks on he unboxed his and then like the next day i said dude i'm coming over to get a haircut because i want to see this thing and it, it was <laughs> amazing i mean it's amazing and it, it would have had to take re something really substantial to get me like off of this path but uh it's it's really 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 nice so yeah, yeah. i mean no, i'll see the prototype of it but not the uh not the finished one so yeah here's I think he's got one of the later ones because his doesn't have like the little spots on the base. So he his is I think when when they went back and, and painted it again, I think or something like that. You know, so like later 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 batches. Later batch, yeah. I'm pray I'm fingers crossed. I'm getting one of those too. But uh, there's only two hundred. I, I found there was only two hundred of them. I, I was really it's lucky. Very, yeah, couple. it's a really yeah. low run. Very low yeah. run. But it's it's sick. For me, it it was uh, it's that one. The dog alien, and then that original sideshow one. That's just that's just my opinion. But that, it, that what what original sideshow one? Which the one, one the one where he's on that uh he's standing on that I don't know if it's a cylinder or something. And, uh, warrior, the original warrior, warrior, warrior. warrior. Yeah. the OG, the maquette warrior. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice piece. That so, to me, those are the top three aliens for me. And the prime one dog, the prime one dog. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A fucking monster. Yeah, monster. And it, it, it was hilarious because uh, last week, well, you know, my, my birthday was Friday, so my mother came over and visited me. And uh, she loves Alien and Predator and all that stuff. And I wanted to surprise her. I was like, no, nah, I got to show her. So I put on, uh, actually, you guys tour when uh, Alex, she was over there for the, uh, for you know, filming the, the STG. She said, so, Ma, I got this coming. She said, what the hell is that? I was like, that's the Alien. Oh, you getting that? Make sure I'm here when you open it. <laughs> so she was that's like, brave, man. Yeah, it was cool, man. Loves all that uh, it's good that you got a mother that's like that. My mother would be like, you know, can you not get Alex to do the, the, the camera? Uh, can you stand behind it? Yeah. Don't let, no, don't let nobody see you. Like, oh, okay. My, mom, my mom's not, <laughs> not actually that bad. Um, she's kind of pretending to actually, be. I think that actually really hurt my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I was in therapy, I'd have to bring it up. <laughs> yeah, I remember you. I remember you. Uh, you phoned me up and telling me about that. You said your mum came over, and it was about. Um, I can't remember the piece, but you, we were going to do an unboxing, and uh, she basically watched the unboxing, and she was basically like, oh, "Mum, you know, what do you think about this kind of thing?" She was like, "Why are you on camera? Why? Why, are you on, why don't you? Why don't you just get Alex to do it? Why? Why don't you get Alex to stand in front of the camera?" And he's just yeah. like, "Ah, oh, okay." <laughs> like, okay. Guess I'm not talking about this with you again. <laughs> <laughs> My dad has moments where he tries to be funny about it, but it just doesn't work really. What's he say? He just tries to be a bit of a dick, and he's like, you know, like, oh yeah, let's go. Yeah, what toys you got in? <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. And he's just like, you know, he tries to be funny in front of people, and I just like, I just, I just tell him to fuck off. I just say, don't be, stop being such a fucking idiot, showing off in front of people. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a, that's a good one. Yeah, probably be like you know, Dad. This is uh, you know, because he used to he used to do cars, didn't he? he used to like yeah. cars. And he'd be like, look, mate, you know, one of these pieces is pretty much how much you used to get for selling them cars that you worked on for six months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was one time I, I, we were doing the house, and um, I was in the garden, and I was talking to someone on the phone, and he he, he sent me down like to cut a bit of wood or something, and I've gone gone downstairs, and I've got some probably you actually. Someone phoned me. And literally, I'm on the phone, and he comes down. And he goes, "You cut that fucking bit of wood yet?" And I'm on the phone, and I give him the bit of wood, and he's like shouting at me while I'm on the phone. And I just like put the phone to my chest, put it down. I go, "Listen, Doris, go have a fucking cup of tea and chill the fuck out, right?" And then I carried on on the phone, just turned my back, carried on. And I turn around, and I can see him. He's like standing there, kind of like, <laughs> and, he just, and he just he didn't know what to do, and he just all walked off. So I stormed off, and then when I saw him next. He was just like, oh, who was that then? He was out on the phone, you know. Was it me? Probably. With him, you just have to uh, talk to him, really. Oh, my and God. And unfortunately, he's not very polite. Nah, he's not a nice guy. <laughs> I'm just downloading some pictures at the moment. That's why I'm there. Uh... I sent some stuff over, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always said you're very late. That's the problem. I'd, I'd like to give you a bit of a challenge because you, you operate very late. So I think giving you early, you'd still do it exactly the same time as if I sent it to you late. So why should I make the extra effort? Is that not right, Thor? You know what I mean? If I send it to him, 
you know, on Monday at 5 p.m., he would still be downloading those pictures now. So there's no point in me wasting my time. And then I'd be pissed about it, but now I'm happy about it. It's fine. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I won the, uh, I won that, um, I won the Sideshow uh, Orco exclusive the other day. Yesterday, really? I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won it for a lot. I saw a really badly, um, really badly labeled listing, and I put, I put, I put, I put a bid in for it. I picked it up for one hundred and sixty pound, the exclusive, you know, and I won it. Oh, so congrats! That's, that's how you, how you like that Hordak? Yeah, man. I, I got, you know, I got. I, I, I was after getting Skeletor, and I think I just had to buy that. So, I mean, I'm digging the Hordak from Tweet had a lot. I'm not de dealing the fact that I had to pay for all up, all up front, but because they're um, for some reason I kept trying on the payment plan thing because I thought yeah that'd be easier, just leave that and chill on it, and then uh, and then it, it just wouldn't do it, and mm. I was like fuck man this is the ES is really low this is gonna fucking sell out I know this stupid thing's gonna sell out really quick, so I was like oh, let's just see if you know I so I pay it all now let's just see if that freezes too maybe it's a site problem <laughs> and it was like yeah there's no fucking problem there that went straight through <laughs> <laughs> money gone. <laughs> I, I would love like, to see okay. them make a beast man, man. I, I really want to see like a realistic looking beast man with like yeah, it's, slime. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I think it will come, man. I think you know that all them sort of uh, ones definitely like Trapjaw and uh, Beast Man and yeah. and Merman. They're they're all the ones that are going to end up coming like you know straight off the bat. I think you know, well, you'll they, get a tailor and you'll be, get a man at arms, and I think, I think the OG yeah. people will be like straight because mm -hmm. that's the the original. Like so my son's been watching in it, so the originals is like. Skeletor, Merman, mm -hmm. and um, fucking Beastman and Trapjaw. They're like these main three guys. So there are know, going to be I, some that are going to be made, which are just going to be busts. Hmm. So there's going to be like the, least, the less popular characters are likely to be busts because um, they just can't warrant making them and they just won't be able to sell enough to make them. Well, yeah, but if you're doing an exclusive Hordak and it's like a 200 ES or 300 ES, I, I think you can do. <laughs> You know, you can you can them type of numbers you'll get. Mm. So you know, I mean, it depends. Yeah, but, not really, I mean, well, I think the more obscure characters are going to be a little bit more popular. I think. Yeah, but the exclusive is two hundred. What's the regular? I don't know. It's not been released yet, has it? The, yeah, not, so, I don't think the numbers have come out for that yet. Yeah, not so yet, that anyway. mean, yeah, so it won't be two hundred total because I mean, obviously, with the exclusives, I mean, they're just like an extra head, aren't they? Yeah. That one is. That Hordak yeah. is. Yeah. So, I mean, then if they're going to print the rest, I mean, they could probably easily do 500 more. I really didn't want to get into another line, I have to be honest. It's like, yeah. that's just the stupidest shit I've ever honest. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck have I done here? Yeah. Got a good deal on that. I got a good deal on that Skeletor originally. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. Don't need a box. Like, get it for my son. And I was like, oh, this is quite nice. And I was like, ah, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. Now I got to find a predator to go with this alien. So go figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you going to get the XM one or are you going to go for this uh, Prime 1 version? Or oh, The thing about the Prime 1 is they're all one quarter scale and the XM is one third. So it's like, yeah. that ain't going to work. So What, for a predator? If, uh, yeah, because the, the alien is one third scale. So it'd be much huger. You know, if you got a quarter scale, it wouldn't work really. What size is the uh, what size is the wolf? I think he's one third, but like the side the sideshow wolf. Yeah, I think that's one third. Yeah, dude, that's one you need to get get that. Yeah, that's. I mean, we talking. That's a that's a vehicle you could buy with that shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, I like that. Um, the design art wolf was nice. Um, that the was the design Sign art one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used with to the like big that. with the big hand blade thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one was nice, but you can't find that anywhere either. So I don't know. I guess I just have to wait. It'll come, dude. There's yeah, no yeah. doubt about it. That's a, that's get that's a very popular scale at the moment. Yeah, yeah you're very, right. I wouldn't be surprised. I never fucking write things off either. You know, with prices because you know you always find deals on things occasionally. Oh, yeah. You just got to keep. You just got to keep in mind once you can sort of zero in on a piece, you can always. You know, it's like, you know, with the Magneto on Throne and the Doom and other pieces, the Hulk and PF and other ones, there's always, there's always deals to be done. 
Yeah. So you see it month for five, six K and you think, fuck that, you know, but I know that people sell them for three, three K here and two and a half K there. So, you know, it's like half the price. So, do you know well, what I mean? Just, oh, I do. I, just, go, I can go all around this room and show you like this, the Biker Scout, 700 bucks. I had, I had to drive 800 uh, miles to get it, but didn't have a box. 800 miles. 800 miles. 400 there, 400 back. And uh, that's like can't, I, I'm sure I can get to fucking Spain, can't I? Alex? <laughs> 800 miles. Yeah. No, like, uh, you, you can probably Scotland the back. <laughs> 800 miles. 800 miles. Total, total. Not that further than not as far as that. That's 800 miles as far, dude. Yeah. That's that's, that's quite far. I mean, 200 in. I, I was going. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, I swear to God, I was like, what the hell am I doing, man? <laughs> Yeah, but at 200 miles, you're halfway there. Yeah, it's that's shit, it? that's, now, that's, like yeah. The, that's the worst idea because you're like, it's going to take me as long to get back as it is to get exactly. there at this point. Um, it's like, whatever. But once I got it, I was like, okay. <laughs> Seven. So what is that? What's the retailer? What's that go for in the market? You usually can't find that for more than, for less than 1,800. Usually, but it that's didn't a have great a price then, man. Yeah, I mean, no I box. Wait. No box. No box, no. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few of them though. I think White got one with no box as well, a little bit of damage. Um, Macklin it's 555 one, in the house. Sorry, it's one of the best. Uh, it's one of the best uh, sideshow um, Star Wars pieces though. That oh one, yeah, then. yeah, easy. Yeah, that's not the great. That's one of the great ones. Yeah. Hold on, let me just go through some of these. Catch up with these. Uh, Nicholas unboxing his uh, XM Cyclops in about an hour. Nice. That's not what you think. Uh, Nocturnal Statue Review wanted to thank you guys. I was able to get one of those old Ben Logan heads uh, from the last chat. Can't wait to get it. Can't wait to get ours either, man. Congrats, man. Uh, Al Simmons in the house. That's been a while since he's been in there. Been a while, yeah. Uh, Mark Randolph, evening. 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 Good evening. Uh, Pezcal23, how are you guys doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, can't complain. Cyberdeg Organism. Uh, where's the glass uh, display case for your red hole? Gone. Yeah, I am. Um... I'm having another unit built, man. I got like this new look. It's like a big. Uh, there's a big old fucking table thing, the big glass display thing. I got got bought there. I put the red Hulk on it, and I got the I got a unit being made for the transformation Hulk and that Hulk to go in together. So I'm hopeful of getting that, you know, so in the next few weeks. A dude in the house. So I got plans. I got plans. Don't worry. Mike Fodden, Archangel. Chris Verdi in the house. Uh, Edwin Diaz. Gabriel Gutierrez. Uh, Thor, have you thought about pairing Alien with the Predator bus? Now, you know, bus, bus just don't do it for me. I, I need to see the, the whole body scope. You know what I mean? I mean, they're nice, but they're just, they're just not for me. So I can wait. Oh, I've got to be honest with you, man. I'm exactly the same. It does yeah, nothing for me. Oh, look at Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane. Dollars. Cheers, brother. Cheers, Thanks, brother. man. Cheers, Stephen man. Thomas in the cheers. house. How's it going, lads? Cheers, cheers. Oh, oh, camera. Cheers, camera. cheers, 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 cheers. <laughs> yeah, people get on me all the time. Why you don't have a Vader bus? You know the one we can take the helmet off, and he's got the. Uh, you know, I'm like, dude, it's just it's a bus. You know, it's, it's nice. Son. I, I, do, do you know what though? I, I'm I'm. We, yo, yo, so, yo. It's a, a funny thing about them. They, 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 with bus, they just they don't ever reach me. Ever. Me, yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got the uh, Guyver down there, and I've got a couple of Spider-Man, free Spider-Man coming, so I do yes. like them a bit. And I've had a few in the past. Um, is that Thor in the stream of Red Titan? Yes, it is. Where you been, man? We did this last year. Yeah. <laughs> How many times have you been on here now? Uh, this is the second time. Second time. Second? Is it second? No. Oh. Yeah, remember Rodney was on with me last time? I think you've been on before that, though. I think three. I think this, is, this must be third. I think three. I think three as well. No, man, I can't remember. <laughs> well, when you when you when you don't, when you don't miss a whole when you don't miss a chat, that's what Robert happens. Cooper, Leary, <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Mark C, happy two hundred GO in the Red Time family support from Thanks, Singapore. Man. Mad love, brother. Thank you. So, Bernie, Hulk transformation. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's going to go. Mm. That's you going to Red Hulk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. That's, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put with the Red Hulk behind oh, me. Nice. That's I got a glass display being made with some uh, LED lights on the going across the bottom of it. So the light shines up on them both. So I'm hopeful I can get them both in there. I'm, yeah, I'm, that, I, 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 I said hopeful. <laughs> to me, that's like the only one with like the right shade of green for me. You know, like all the other ones just somehow off a little bit. But I like I like that one a lot. 
Yeah, I, I, I kind of, I just kind of like the storytelling of it a lot, you know. It's definitely a standalone piece if you want it to be. Yeah. You know, I'm going to put it, you know, I'm going to put it with a Red Hulk and, and see how they sort of jam together, you know. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've, you know, I'm, a, I'm actually quite a big Hulk fan. I've been since I was a kid, but none of the statues have really talked to me that much. Um, none of the light, none of the, uh, none of the pieces really. So this, this one, I was like, when I, I was just like, yeah. This is definitely the one for me. So you know, you just what you know, you got a character, and you sort of like you love it for your yeah. own sort of time. So yeah. the Kirby thing, the Kirby thing does nothing for me. The chimpanzee Hulk does nothing for me. Yeah, you know, it looks, if it looks like if it looks like a bit like a, a, a slightly um, semi-retarded monkey, I, <laughs> I have absolutely no interest. In, uh, of, of, uh, and it is because that's he's sort of like the way that he was drawn back then. Was sort of Neanderthal, like, it's like a Frankenstein. It's, it's like a, thing. it's like a stupid. He's like a slow, stupid monster. Yeah. And if you ever watched, like, when I was a kid, um, I got a, you know, the, the my first introduction to the Hulk was like a nineteen eighties cartoon. Um, no, no, what, no, 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 no. Yeah, you know, it was an old it was like the seventies. Yeah, it's like dun dun dun. He come, he comes walking out, oh, he cracks the floor with his crown. The one that came on after Amazing Friends. I yeah. think so. I, I mean, yeah, he, he, he used, yeah, yeah it was the eighties. It was early eighties, I think, like eighty four, like eighty two. Yeah. Like, and he he like cracks the floor, floor opens yeah, yeah, up yeah. and shit. That that's the whole car I remember. And I remember uh, my uh, my stepdad coming home with a with a with a VHS of of the Hulk saying, oh, I got this Hulk for you to watch." And it was the I think the night like really nineteen. Early the, 90s, maybe 1940s or not, something like uh, that. You had the video from the 60s, which was the one. Yeah, the Dark 60s one. Bruce Banner, Bruce Banner yeah. raised by Gamma Ray. Right? No, that one is like really old. And, the, yeah. and then I watched it. I was like, what the, what the fuck is this retarded yeah. Hulk business? Where's <laughs> this come from? He's not like this. Yeah. And, it, and it's sort of like that. And I think that, that experience of like, you know, him being the way he was, you know, back then it was like a, it's like a Frankenstein y slow monster. Mm. And it was a bit like, you know, I was a bit like now, whenever I see them kind of portraits and that style, I instantly think of that. I inst- that's where I go in my head. I'm like, oh, it's the, it's the slightly stupid and slow look. You know what I mean? It does, does that affiliation is, is, mm. is, 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 I don't find it appealing. So yeah. it's never the Hulk I want, you know, yeah, which is like, funny. And it's always um, like a Betty, Rick friend, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, with- it's, I'm with you. you. Know I, mean? I, I, I never got it when it, you know that OG Hulk PF and they, like I saw some of the prices for that shit. I was like, damn, they paying how much for that fucking thing? You know, what I mean, it, I, I mean, I just never got it. You know, it's just one of those so-called grails that just never, never appealed to yeah. me. It's <laughs> nice. It's, it's a nice piece, but it's not three and a half grand nice. No, hell no, no. <laughs> Yeah. I think no, I, I, mean, I think it was retail. It's like three fifty, three hundred and fifty pound, three hundred pound. Yeah, something oh, like that. It was definitely was. But so, uh, that's the um, funny story. Sorry about like the original pieces. Like so, the original Doctor Doom, Doom and the yeah. original Akuma mm. um, went like you know, so. The first pieces that Sideshow Pit released and Pop Culture Shop released, they couldn't sell them. So like those pieces were like being heavily discounted in the beginning, and. Yeah. Um, that Doom was like selling for $150 and they couldn't sell them. They got a GameStop yeah. and it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And now, well, I don't know about now because they took a dive, but uh, they, would, they were like selling at like two, three grand at one point. It's crazy. Oh, how, many yeah, bow, um, how many bones you picked up this week, George? Well, it's not me. He's talking to you, dizzy fuck. <laughs> well, it's all of us. No, he's, he's talking to you. If he's talking about how many bones have you picked up this week, that's <laughs> you, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Well, that's how many bones me. have you chaps picked up this week? No, nah, he's that's aimed at you. You can put many chaps. That is your question. You answer that. How many did you pick up, sir? Bones? Yes. Um, one. <laughs> I got one. But it was thrown in, actually. It was it was like a, a, a sweetener. I wanted to buy the um, Galactus bust, and um, I wanted to buy that. We were doing a deal. The legendary with. scale sideshow version. Yep. And also, I picked up a, an exclusive um, Spider-Man Premium format. So I've got, um, I've got some over there. I've got the Premium format over there, which I I may look into um, getting painted again. 
So we'll see what happens. Because I, I got one painted and it looked really fucking good. And I, I, I still can't remember what happened. I think George fucking Jedi, Jedi mind tricked me and I fucked up. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Calm and dear. I'm not really sure how, what happened there. He somehow... He it was a good day. Me. I don't know how I achieved it, but it was a even, good day. It was, it even, was a well-earned victory. I felt yeah, like I'd he, achieved something that day. He, he offered me like £600 for it. And for some reason, I was like, nah, it's okay. <laughs> no, no, I can't take that off you. And then somehow he well mind fucked me. I don't know what happened. I, I, I gave him the fucking thing. I like boxed it up, gave it to him. And it ended up being like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck, man? So do you have any ideas of what color you're going for? <clears throat> or um, No, basically the exclusive one was... Um, it worked out. Um, I got I got the the, the Watcher, uh, the Galactus Bust, and the exclusive Spider Man. Mine's only a regular. I've only ever had regulars actually. I've had three regulars, I think. And um, I just thought to myself, I might as well get an exclusive just for the sake of it because the price was good. And um, I I may sell the, the the regular one. I don't know yet. I need to work it out if I can paint it up. Maybe. Maybe, what would know. you? Superior, what colours would you think though? If it was going to be, if you're going to colour it, um, I don't know really. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really go for um, negative zone again because I did that and it did look great. I wouldn't. I, you know, you've got it, so I'd probably go with something else. I do like. Um, uh, I do like the Scarlet Spider that uh, Andrew Ho had. That was actually really yeah, nice. that's amazing. That is, that's like um, an always sculpted front, though, isn't it? Probably can be done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I probably, uh, I, I don't know. I'd have to look. I mean, it's only like a fucking hoodie or something he's wearing, isn't it? It can't be that hard. Yeah, probably fucking is, you know. Yeah, probably I think it is. I'd go superior if it was me. Um, I always like the superior Spider Man outfit. Yeah, <laughs> Which one's that? What's that one? See, window, uh, Took yeah, over oh, with the extra little spiky legs. Yeah. yeah, that was cool, man. And it's like the bottom is black, and the yeah. top is like it is really nice. To, yeah. yeah, I wonder. Um, I wonder how hard it would be as well to make it into a doppelganger. But then it's again, that's not really that's, that's not point. really a doppel, that's that's not a doppelganger pose. It's not a doppelganger pose. He's not very. He's not like agile like Spider Man. He's a, he's quite clumsy. Mm. He's quite bashful. He's he's not. He's, he's like, nah, I wouldn't work with He's him. like you. Yeah, he's like me. He's a fucking, fucking idiot. He, he's a fucking <laughs> dribbling fool. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I just picked up the watcher. So, I don't just want to answer that question the long way around. I picked up the watcher because it came as a, a, a sweetener in the deal. But the annoying thing was, I actually picked up the fucking watcher about a week ago. So, I got two. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, um, that's, that sucks, isn't it? I bought I got, a watch. Um, I bought I got, Mike's looking for one, so I'm probably not giving it to him. I got I got Blaster, but I got him a long time ago. Um, I, I bought him like a month ago. I'm still waiting for him to arrive. Well, fucking takes ages for shipping. I, I, stupidly, this isn't global shipping, so it's taking a well long time. Yeah. Fucking long. I paid 60 fucking quid to ship that silly thing as well. Can you believe that? <laughs> 60 quid. Well, I reckon he's probably got a decent sized box, but still 60 is <sighs> a lot. 60 for a Bowen piece. I mean, what? Mm. Slap yourself uh, smart. Chris rody has got the Venom bust, and that's all he's got with the busts. So I'm just going for these guys. Oh, nice um, Alex B in the house. Oh, man, Tio, what's up for? Edwin Diaz, yo. Um, the Captain Bob. Yeah, I've got the pictures of that there coming up. Uh, sorry, Jen. Um, got a new 52 Batman yesterday. Uh, boot fell and broke. Oh, that sucks, man. Mm. Hopefully, they'll sort you out. Is that the uh, which one is that one? The, the, the XM one, the prime yeah, one, no, no, no. Oh, the be prime one. It'll be the prime yeah, one. The prime one. Could you have the one that Nicholas had? The horrible one with his arm out, yeah, yeah with his arm out, and he's holding yeah, the kryptonite it's... and all that stuff. Is it oh, is it, is it him <laughs> zip lining? Thing. Yeah, he's about to zip line and uh, yeah. exclusively he's holding the kryptonite on the other hand. Okay, Jules says I want to get a whole <laughs> transformation with your head sculpt switch up. <laughs> Dude, that's only going to devalue that piece massively. <laughs> Liam Best in the house. Uh, see if Alex got a pic of that cap bus. Yeah, I've definitely got a picture, a couple of pictures of that uh, House of God was happening. 
Sparta in the house, 200. King Alex and Warrior Geo. This is Sparta. <laughs> Going by the pitch there, definitely Frankenstein. That's why his colours were grey and green. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Red Titan is more proper to refer to him as special needs Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Chris yeah. Pierre, our dying carcass arrived today. A uh, bit of a company uh, uh, for my patients here. I hope you're well. I've got both of those, and uh, Geo absolutely hates that undying carcass. It really creeps him out. Every time yes, you, nice. you I review, want, I want Alex to sell it. I, 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 it, it makes me uncomfortable. It looks review, like vomit on yeah. skeleton. It's just horrible. It's a horrible on thing. On the review of it, George is there and he's basically looking at it and you can almost see his fucking arsehole clench up the way he's looking at it. Oh, it's, it's totally so clenched. Funny. It's totally <laughs> clenched. Uh, awesome. Uh, King of the Fire setup. Yeah, so I've got the light up done in the background. Set up Terry today. He took 65 days to come from Germany. God, man. Uh, Jason M, congrats on the 200. Thank you. I didn't care for the Hulk till I read Planet Hulk. Uh, yeah. World War Hulk. Yeah, that's, that's cool. great. It's a good story, actually. Look, that's the thing George has said before. A lot of the Hulk stories are quite like, you know, his his, his uh, dialect yeah. is quite shit. Quite like, oh, uh, ah, rah. You know, but you know that, that's, that, that's why I really like the Red Hulk, you know. that's I mean, I, I'm going to say out there, I actually prefer Red Hulk to green hulk because the red hulk is you could if you've read it if you've ever read red hulk comics you can read them like yeah. he's like intelligent he's tactical strategic i can you know and he's like vicious as shit and you just think that's hey, what you want this. you know that's what you want i see i mean i don't i don't think they let that run for as long as they should well, like, red hulk like Gen general ross being red hulk they should have let that run and run and run they should have ran with that shit for as long as they could have done Mystic. Well, why they killed him off? Well, yeah, it just doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't go it's on for that long. You'd be surprised. Yeah. It's not that long. Do you know my girlfriend's up? I don't know if you'll be happy to know this, but my girlfriend's upstairs watching fucking episode eight. I told her she said to me, "What movie can I watch?" And we've been watching all of the Star Wars movies in order. So we're, up to episode, we're up to episode eight, and I said to her, "Yeah, you can watch the next Star Wars film." Yeah, uh, so I don't uh, fucking want to watch that again ever. <laughs> so how's she liking them so far? Which one is? Which one was eight? Eight the is the uh, last Jedi. Eight's the one where the end of it, where they all start doing the fucking Kylo Minogue dance, and they start fighting with the um, the Imperial Guards or something, don't they? Eight, I, I think, is know. the last Jedi. What is what yeah, is the yeah. Kylo Minogue yeah. dance? You dizzy fucker! Do you like that fucking? Do you know that one where it's like, um, "Can't get you out of my head"? Oh, on okay. that video, on that video, it reminds me of that fucking fight scene. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh yeah, 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 it's the last Jedi, yeah. Yeah, it's um, so basically, I just told her to watch her. We watched um, the one, the one before that. What's that? Uh, the fourth <sighs> Awakens. Yeah, we watched that one last night. And uh, tell you what, I tell yeah. you what, I watched the other night. Jenny, Jenny went out the early night. The wife, so I, I watched um, I watched Brightburn, man. I really enjoyed that. You know, I haven't watched uh, it yet, dude. I, I really it. enjoyed that a lot. I thought it was fucking cool. Have you <clears> seen <throat> it for? I haven't. Um. I haven't been doing movies too much lately. Like in the movie, I wait for them to come out, but I didn't see Brightman right now. Brightman's so it. fucking cool, man. I was like, I've, I've, had I, I I've had it for ages, like the still book. I just, I, 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 I've been going through some pretty good films recently. And I was just like, I watched Alita uh, and I was like, that's fucking cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to see that too. I didn't see that either. And then I, I sat and I watched the uh, thing the other day, Brightman. And I was actually like, I actually thought Jenny would like that. I think, I think um, uh, Rodney saw a I think Rodney really liked it. Exo would treat me well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, treat me better than George does. Uh, <laughs> Taskmaster thoughts. We've got those in the in the thing coming up. Um, Google, 60 quid come up at $75. <laughs> yeah, because you said about shipping, 65, 60 quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was fucking horrendous, man. Government is watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a funny story behind that. <laughs> Go on, tell us. What is it? What is it? Is it? Well, the last... Oh, yeah, because uh, they get cut off all the time. Uh, Super Soldier. Oh, I'll wait till he finishes. Then I'll tell him. Oh, sorry, I'll finish quickly. Super Soldier in the house. Uh, BJCG. Fight with the... Oh, uh, yeah. Worst uh, choreographed ever. Yeah, it's really bad. Uh, Hulk, Hulk. Gio, what? Brian Byrne is, uh, Brian Byrne is awesome. Uh, Gio, I thought Brian Byrne was good. Uh, Brightburn was awesome. Brightburn, yeah. Uh, Mr. Gunderson. Cormac Cooper's from Ireland. Uh, Brightburn's really great, especially 
uh, for a Superman fan, it was far more gory than I expected. Yeah. Um, have you watched uh, Vivarium? Nope. I've not seen no. that. Isn't Vivarium where you keep a fucking lizard? Is that not what Vivarium is? Uh, the Peter is... David Hulk is very intelligent. The P- Peter David the Hulk is Peter David is the creator of Planet Hulk, and uh, he did uh, Future Imperfect as Peter David. That's a different Hulk, completely, and that's that's ninety like ninety six. That's yeah. like that's 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 a, bit, that's a completely different era Hulk. It is is I mean he they they tried to get around, you know, the, obviously the, the retarded chimpanzee escape chimpanzee situation, but you know later on when it was impossible to read, but. You know, everything has its place. Some people love that shit. I mean, you can't knock them for loving it. It's, it's, their, it's their nostalgia. Everyone's just doing it. If I'd have seen maybe that other Hulk first, it might be different. I always find that if I hear a song, right, and it's the remake of a song, you know, like a redone version of a song. If I hear the remake first before the original, I prefer the remake. If I hear the original first, I prefer the original. Whatever I hmm. hear first, I seem to like first. So, you know, you can't, and then you can't talk me out of the other way. So someone will say to me, mostly it's my father-in-law. He says, oh, you like this song? I'm like, yeah, I fucking love this song. He's like, oh, you know, the original is by this person. Let me play it for you. And I'm just like sitting there <laughs> and every polite bone in my head is saying, don't say how mm-hmm. shit yeah. this fucking song is, you know? And I'd be like, wow. I'll, I'll just be like, yeah, they really improved this. And he'd be look at me like, yeah, that didn't go how I planned. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, there we go, George's uh, at Terrarium. Terrarium? Terrarium. Yeah. Uh, you guys have a price limit on statues? Yes. Depends on the piece, but there's always, yeah. a, there's always a ceiling on every piece. Every single piece that I will see, I will instantly be like, yeah, I wouldn't pay more than this for it, and therefore that happens. Like, yeah. for example, well, that's why it took, me, it took me seven years to get Doom on front yeah. because I would never pay the, the price. I, might, I had a ceiling mm. that I wouldn't go beyond, which was... Um, <clears throat> Which was two K, and I and I got the exclusive for eighteen hundred. So, yeah, my my most I've ever paid is about fifteen hundred, and that was on. Uh, that, that's the most I paid, and I think um, unless it's something really special, I mean that's that's my kind of ceiling at the moment. But again, it's the same with anything. I mean, with comics as well. I had a ceiling, and then that went to shit. So I don't know. I mean, it's easy. Yeah, definitely I do, um, especially now. You know, it took a lot of learning and a lot of experience to get to, you know, the point that I'm at now. But I think Ghost Rider was the highest. I paid 18 for Ghost Rider at the time. And uh, I think that's that's the highest I've paid so far. But now, you know, I can wait as, as long as it needs to be to uh, get it priced that I'm comfortable with. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's just it, it always comes around again eventually. So, mm. you know. Yeah, good advice. Yeah. <laughs> You win some, you do some. Yeah. Uh, just logging in, sorry if this is asked to any updates on Rocky and Groot and Hulk transformation. Um, Rocky and Groot, um, addition size was just posted, I think it was 350, if I remember. And oh. um, Hulk transformation should be starting to ship at uh, the end of the month, early July. Oh, fuck. Uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Um, statue collecting, yo, yo. Yo, uh, Stuart Murray. Oh, yeah, Stuart Murray's been having issues going on with his Prime One um, as, uh, shipping for a while now. So, got an email back from Prime One and they reduced the shipping on Injustice to Superman, Black Suit, Hush Superman uh, by a combined $400, give or take. Turns out they added two COVID surcharges on each statue. Fuck <sighs> me. Well, by mistake. Yeah. Mistake, eh? Uh, Chris Verdi, I paid three thousand three hundred for the Hulkbuster. Wow, one of the best pieces ever one. made, ever constructed by yeah. anybody. That's a sick piece. Uh, anyone else who has any statue on order from Prime One and doesn't want to wait, God knows how long for the surcharges to vanish. Do the math between the first invoice and the last uh, pre-shipping one. I'd want a uh, refund. That's yeah. that's how I would treat them. That's exactly how I would treat them. Eighteen fifty for Ghost I'm I'm eight. Yes, yeah. Michael, I still think I, I still stand by the Ghost Rider comment as well. I think Ghost Rider is another exceptional piece. Yeah, yeah. And then also the uh, Parika says also 
I got slapped with a huge surcharge of 423. That's why I'm actually a bit scared of... Um, I want to pre-order Logan, because I've got, I've got some points um, coming in. So I've got the points, and I'm sorting out Logan, and then I'm thinking to myself, the price is just at the point I'm willing to pay. Um, if my tax is on point and my shipping is on point, it's just on that level I want to pay. And if they say to me, you're going to get stung with this fee, the COVID fee of $100, it's above where I want to pay. You know, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Dave Richardson in the house, even at all. Uh, what about Amiga Red and Colossus? Can you give an indication of when these are coming? Um, well, Colossus and, and Omega Red are quite far along in the factory. So, <sighs> what, what are we now? We're in June, July, maybe August, September time. That's just a guess, so guesstimate. Just got a nice message from Andy Fusco wishing us huge yep. congratulations on the 200 that, yeah. He, uh, he, uh, he just said, like, huge congratulations, and here's the 200 more. And likes the show, is packed full of, you know, some good content and some humor, which I thought was nice. But he obviously, he can't, he, he's, he's, I think he's out and about tonight, so he just wished us well. So I thought I'd add that in there. That's nice of him. Well, I have replied back going, Congratulations on your million followers on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Send some our way, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dirty. Fuck yeah. Uh, Chris Verdi, I'm not too sure about Doc Ock at the moment. They should be putting out a new um, shipping uh, list soon. Do you have any XM orders for other than Alien? Not currently, because I mean I have uh, three of the Star Wars pieces. I just oh I just got the I just got a uh, Vader too. Just the Vader. I didn't get the uh, uh, the Anakin or the uh, the young uh, it's better, it's the got, best got, bit of business that really... they split them up. You know that was really clever. Yeah, you know, I remember when they said they were gonna make a Vader, and I was really hoping it was gonna be him on, in the meditation chamber, because that was, you know, I figured that'd be a real XM thing to do. And uh, you know, yeah, yeah, good call. You know, but uh, it wasn't. That's cool. But this is the Vader portion was really nice. You know, I was really. There was actually some really nice concepts I've seen before, which were weren't approved, and um, basically they don't happen in the movie, so it was it wasn't allowed. And it was where um, there's a corridor, like he's in like a corridor on the um, uh, the Death Star, and he's mm -hmm. kind of like he's, he's kind of like that, mm -hmm. and the walls around him are kind of like kind of crumbling around him. Oh, that would have been kind of crazy. Crazy. Yeah. 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 The concept was amazing. Yeah. Uh, they just went, when does that happen in the movie? And like, yeah. um, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, no. they, they they really strict on the, the Star Wars stuff, man. Yeah, but I, I actually know. think that they're right. I think they're completely right with that. Why would the fuck would Vader be breaking the, his own Death Star? I mean, what the fuck is that? Are they stupid? It's a shit concept. It's like um, a fucking horrible concept. I mean, he's not Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is a petulant, angry that's child. True. That's true. Darth Vader yeah. never loses. Are you joking? Darth Vader does not lose his call. Cool. He is in complete control <laughs> at I, all times. I get into this with Rodney all the time. He's always telling me Kylo Ren's a better character and all this stuff. I'm like, dude, anybody who acts like him, it's real easy to get in here. When you, totally. like, you know what I mean? So that's why I just never, you know, eventually I learned. It is like that, but that's, the, that's but, the beautiful moment because you, you, you watch Vader and he's immovable yeah. all through the film. Yeah. And you think to yourself, when you find out that Luke is going to go to him and he's going to he's going to talk to him, mm -hmm. he's going to get his father back. Mm -hmm. You're just like, you ain't getting nowhere. Are you fucking yeah. crazy? You're going to get through to him. You must be crazy. Right. And that's the beautiful moment because that moment when he picks up the fucking when he picks up how you know and throws him off the thing. Yeah. That mo you just don't think it's going to happen. You think right. he's going to watch him die. He's going to watch him die yeah. because he is so fucking focused. And on point, you think, man, that, that's that's a cold as ice guy. That is, and that's that's it what not, makes it. Him, might, that's what makes him one of the. Yeah, it might not be the Death Star corridor. It might have just been a corridor. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, shit concept. Glad they turned it down. Bad, good decision. I, uh, you know, for me, that's why the uh, it's still to this day for me the uh, the Mythos is still the best. Still the best. Oh, yeah, I agree. He's right here. Mm. Yeah, I the agree. mythos for me is the. I mean, I like the. I, I, I've seen the Iron Studios one. I was quite impressed with it in person. But I, yeah, but I, I think as a mood, something that captures yeah. the character. I really feel that yeah. the the, 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 the mythos side. Vader is. Good. Master Pizza's on your side I, there. I, I, exactly how I feel about Vader and Kylo. Yeah. 
Right. No, you got you. You see, you see things how you see him, but that, I think that's what made Vader such a such an important v- villain. Yeah. Like so, I mean, you know, that we talk about we talk about villains, and and Vader's like an, like one of those villains is top top, you know, echelons. Of yeah, he walks is, in the is, room, everybody's terrified. You know, what I mean, yeah, like, it, but but you think about it for yourself, right? You don't even need to do anything. It's, thank you. That's you don't need to do you. nothing for you to be terrified. And that's the that's that's the bottom line. The funny you, you thing walk, was when a man um, can walk in, when a man can walk into a room mm-hmm. and not say anything and not do anything and you're worried, that's a powerful man you'd want to be careful yeah. about. If the you're coming in throwing the um, toys, smashing the place up, I don't find that yeah, terrifying yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. I find a lack of control very easy to be, to to beat. I'd be I like, hey, I'm gonna fucking trying. smash you. Because <laughs> I, mean, I watched the original trilogy recently, and all, what I learned from the original trilogy was don't these fucking stupid cunts never learn. All these fucking go- like all the people in his uh, under his control. Why the fuck do they keep questioning him? Why the fuck do they? Why do they even stand up to him at all? And I'm like, and every, every fucker who gets promoted, you're like, oh, you poor cunt, you poor fucking. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're, yeah. you're the new, you're the new fucking uh, commander or whatever. He's like, I, I, oh I, man, you're gonna die soon. Come on. Yeah, but it's like it's like in Star Trek, isn't it? Where. You know, Captain Kirk's like, yeah, let's go and see the, uh, let's go check the planet's surface out. And you've got, you've got him and you've got like Spock and like, and you've got like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, you know, McCoy. And then you've got these three other dudes in red and you're like, they're three other dudes in red, yeah. they ain't coming home. <laughs> <laughs> they're three dudes in red, they're dead. They're yeah. dead. <laughs> Yo, Yeoman Johnson or somebody. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's, yeah. You, you boys don't come back. There's no coming back. Uh, where are we? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell the disappointing news to Lord Vader. <laughs> you yeah. Enjoy, good, good luck with this. <laughs> uh, do you know? Do you know what? Bit, um, watching the episode seven, I forgot. I watched episode seven yesterday. Um, <laughs> the bit made me fucking piss myself again. Do you know the bit where she escapes, and then literally, like, he starts smashing up the room. And then you see the, the two stormtroopers walking down the corridor, and the other one oh, just goes yeah, to the other yeah. one, yeah. uh, puts their hand on his chest, and then they turn around and walk back. And leave yeah, before he sees them. Yeah, that was funny. It's amazing. That bit is so good. Did you, did you show a Rogue One yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. She, I, she I didn't Rogue One's good. She didn't like Rogue One. No, she just said, uh, "What did she say about Rogue One?" Um, I'm trying to think. She didn't mind it, but um, I'm trying to remember what she said about it. She didn't mind the original trilogy. <laughs> but um, she, said the, it. <laughs> she said she said the problem problem with it after watching the uh, number seven yesterday was she just said that's just like they just repeat everything. It's like well they just build a fucking star destroyer and then there's a new for they destroy it that's, and then they build a new yeah. one and then they destroy it and then they build a new one and they yeah. destroy it. It's just like isn't it fucking repetitive? It's well too repetitive. Yeah, that's that's my problem with this new trilogy. To me, Disney tried to make their own original trilogy like you got another death star the main character is trying to find himself over three movies you find on a desert planet there's another so-called Darth Vader another emperor yeah. it, to me it's the same thing you know what I mean so that's why I really didn't yeah, but they, they definitely follow a blueprint even if you go with even if you go with all the all the trilogies it seems to be that the <coughs> first one is the sort of you know get to know you right and then the second one's really dark and then the third one, sort of, you know what I mean? It's like Empire's, like, Empire's fucking dark That's as my shit, favorite man. movie. That's my favorite movie. It's like movie dark. Period. Empire's yeah. dark. And then when you watch the other ones, you think, like, Clone Wars is pretty dark, too. Like, it's, you know, they, they, things just don't go well in them second films. You're like, shit, things are looking pretty, pretty, pretty ominous, you know, in, of the trilogies. Yeah. It seems I've to follow a particular by, um, pattern. I've been told by Gary so much to watch Clone Wars. Clone Wars is really oh. good. I tell you what I did see is I saw an an episode of Rebels and I saw it twice the same fucking episode, right? And what 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 happens though is um, these two characters, I don't know who they are, they fight against Vader and they drop a fucking uh, walker on him. Yeah. Yeah, that was fucking wicked. That was really good. And they turn around, he's lifting it up like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it it a cartoon? It's a cartoon, it's animation. You got, but the thing is, you got to watch. Clone Wars before you watch that because a lot of uh, references from Clone Wars happen in that you won't know what's going on. I was uh, I was literally jet lagged and I was thinking I was in I was in Hong Kong jet lagged 
it was literally about four o'clock in the morning, turned on the TV and it was on. And I watched it and I was just like, oh, fuck, I just, I'll put it on, it'll put me to sleep. I ended up watching the whole thing. Because yeah. in Clone Wars, they actually have Darth, Darth Maul do the intro. Yeah. And it, it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, previous anime it. was badass uh, with the clone gun bot trying to get him. And uh, call me Cooper. There you go. Happy oh, birthday, thanks, Rantan. God and bless. Uh, thanks, God bless. There you go. Let me just catch up with some of these. So, uh, same here, Joe. Find out okay, what's going on there. And well, my favorite part of Star Wars is when Darth Vader loses his shit and starts choking the co worker during the staff meeting. Yeah. Also, well, the bit in Rogue One, actually, that was good. With, yeah, but uh, he don't. He, he don't. He says, I find, what the, I find your lack of faith disturbing. disturbing. Yeah. And he just does that. Yeah. That is that is complete control. He's yeah. not angry at all. He's just like, no. yeah, yeah. Try try not breathing for a couple of seconds. Yeah, the, bit with, um, <laughs> the, bit, the bit with him in Bro Bomb was fucking amazing. Yeah, the, the, yeah, that, that's that's wicked. That is that's the not, best part of Rogue One, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, that's, let's be honest. Easy. That's that's like the easy. bit where you're just like, we need more of that. That's what we need. We need a whole <laughs> film where that happens. But you know what I think? <laughs> my my take on that is the fact that the director wanted to do Alien 5 and he was close to doing Alien 5 and what happens is at the end part where Vader comes in is done like a fucking Alien movie do you know where he comes in and they're all scared and they're running it's mm -hmm. almost like a, like a sci-fi yeah, yeah it's done in that kind of that the uh, the camera angles screaming like, screaming uh, through yeah. the room yeah yeah that, that yeah, seems I get, fucking I get where you're going I get, yeah, it's, for me that's one of my favourite Star Wars scenes ever oh, yeah is yeah it? it's amazing uh, yeah, random red shirts are marked for death. Um, yeah, it is so well. <laughs> I had to make up your story about the dead red shirt. <laughs> I didn't know that. Rogue One is a, mas uh, is a masterpiece, okay? Oh, wow, okay. Congratulations Shit. on 200. Thanks for doing your thing. Wow, $200, buddy. Fuck me, man. That's the biggest <laughs> everyone's ever sent us. Yeah. Thank you very much, my brother. Yeah, Thank my you. God wow. bless. Okay, that is a very that is a very generous yeah, gift. Is that? Oh. Had to refill here pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, I'm gonna need some more drinks, man. You're gonna need some again. more that you need some yeah. more that ginger and lime. Yeah, yeah. Right. Good. Do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, we're drinking again. Chin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chris, uh, someone is a true fan. Uh, uh, it's up park. Sorry, I'm just. Uh, well, I'm blown uh, away by that, man. Yeah, wow, I'm blown me too. Away by that, crazy. <laughs> BW deserves a two hundred uh, a shirt and pick. Actually, pick, I've been, you know what? I've been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot of a lot of like uh, metal training in the garden. So I'm, I'm, I'll take that. I'll, I'll definitely oh, do a bit of shirtlessness for you. Dave Richardson, cheers. Thank you, wow. brother. Holy shit. Cheers, Dave. <laughs> Thanks, man. Get fucking I'm four on. Get four I'm gonna. Every I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get. I need to uh, go get another beer. Yeah, I need to get one in a minute. Uh, super chat. I'm going to super chat an XM piece here. Um, I couldn't miss a 200. Just keep your mouth shut, cat dad. No fucking jinx in it. Uh, <laughs> no, no, drop the apology accepted. Okay, yeah, that's uh, it. Apology accepted. That's the case. Yeah, apology accepted, Captain Nida. Yeah, that is it. That's the bit. That's it. Yeah. Fucking awesome. That is. Seize uh, review Empire was the best. Yeah, that's that's if I'm on death row. And they say you got one more movie. Be Empire easy. easy. Infinity War, if I'm going to do that. I think I'll just try and bust myself out of there that way. When they can distract me, I'm going to start shanking people. <laughs> uh, what's, what's one in the snow? In the snow. Empire, oh, you see. Empire. Yeah. yeah, that was the better one. Yeah. Empire. Yeah. I've really, you know what? I, like I really. I there's, like a, there's, a, there's a powerful moment in Return of the Jedi where he throws them, but I can't. I, I always have to go with Return of the Jedi. Do you know what's funny? Empire's third for me. I go, I, I go, Return of the Jedi, and then I go, fucking Revenge of the Sith. Can you believe that? Revenge, I go, Revenge of the Sith. Second favorite movie. Yeah, yeah see, I, love it. I have to. I, I like that because it's a, it's a, it's it's as close as we're ever going to get to an, an Anakin, yeah. you know, an origin of Vader, which I I just love watching him crumble. Well, they were film. talking about doing a side movie, weren't they? They were talking about they made a movie, weren't they, for a while? It's now they're talking about shows and they, they, they might have them in yeah. on the uh, Obi they're doing the Obi Wan show. So Obi, they, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if they're gonna do it, though, they need to just focus on doing that. It doesn't need to be part of anything else. It should just 
do that. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, Vader statue from him, uh, Rogue One, holding up fist up. Well, the guy on the ceiling would be epic. <laughs> yeah. That's how they should. I, I mean, I keep saying that that, that sideshow one is supposed to be for real one. That's the pose they should have used. You know, yeah. not, not just, the one where he's uh, got the, Heisman, the Heisman, Heisman Trophy looking shit. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's holding the fucking football like this. Yeah. yeah. You guys are going to be super drunk during the pitches. I hope so. I'm going to go, so. yeah. go get another beer in a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm you guys, drinking spring water. <laughs> <laughs> Or are you going to be hydrated then for at least? <laughs> My favorite Star Wars movie was The Goblet of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking fired. Yeah. yeah. No, fucking <laughs> I watched all those recently. I went there first. Um, Still glimpse for 200. No, I just what's happening. Oh, GB, uh, I like Solo, man. What were they smoking when they made the Solo movie? Oh, it's a horrible film. I like it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Well, as soon as em- Emilia Clark turned up, Started I chatting. Like I was be, like, I like this, is, this is the end of it. This yeah, is the yeah. end of it now. I like her, but the thing is, is anything other than Game of Thrones, she's fucking terrible. She's absolutely I terrible. I think I agree anything. with you. It's alarming. I there do was agree with you. There was a romance one where she was like caring for some guy. Um, I think he's dying or he's in a wheelchair or something. And she was good in that, but it was like a romantic comedy. But other than that, um, in, in uh, Terminator Genesis and in uh, Rogue, uh, sorry, in uh, Solo, she's fucking dreadful. She's so bad, mm. so miscast, so so like, miscast badly. Just that's that's like just a banker name in it. That's why it's not on yeah. like the right person for the part. It's let's get that chick from Game of Thrones, and mm. that's that's what's sad. That the one who's popular from because in Game of Thrones, she's she's one of the best in it. Yeah, oh, I do like the ginger girl a little bit that died. <laughs> Who uh, you know, not, you know you, nothing, you know John Snow. The one who plays Phoenix in his in his last movie. Uh, oh, you liked her as well. Oh yeah. Oh, I like her. Yeah. Yeah. She St- Sansa, Sansa Stark. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's. <laughs> oh yeah, she's lovely. <laughs> All right. I'm just going uh, to see if there's any because I know there were some pictures of the Lord of the Rings. I'm just going to go go through. I've got a couple, but. Not many. The floor on picture. Um, it's, it's funny you mentioned that. I start hanging out. Uh, they got PJ introduced me to these guys in his hot toys group. Yeah. And so they let me in there and I started like feeding them statue pictures. So a lot of these guys are liquidating their hot toys collections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're like, God damn you, Dark Lord, you, you got us buying all this shit. And one of the guys, he's like, he really wants those Lord of the Rings crime one pieces. I was like, Sell all your hot toys, my son. And you yeah, very easy. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Join the dark side. Yeah, yeah. join us. Some, some of the um, old sideshow ones are really nice. And when I when I heard that they were making um, the Lutz and the Berserker, I thought to myself, the Urukai Berserker. I thought, really, they're the two best sideshow ones, and that's where you're going first. My God! And then they they brought them out. And they look amazing. They look absolutely amazing. Yeah, but arrogance has paid off on this occasion because they've delivered. No, it, it doesn't. Listen, when it when you deliver, it's confidence, and right. Yeah. So. The ginger woman from Game of Thrones married Jon Snow in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day he gets to hear that. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Well, she was a uh, she was a model before, and she's like a she's a, she's actually a lady or something, isn't she? Her parents are like lords. I have no uh, idea. She, she, I just thought she was quite fit. Pretty fucking colossal, yeah. Uh, she's a little thin for me. That's the only thing. She's a bit thin. I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I asked my sister to the prom because of Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, what we do then? Uh, should we go to pictures or what do we do? I'm ready, oh, man. Unless there's any, anything to anything to any news of any kind, is there? Um, I know House of Gog are doing a competition on their Instagram tomorrow. Um, if PA is listening, do you want to give me your Instagram? Because you didn't actually email it to me when I asked you. Um, Useless bum. Yeah. <laughs> so, what happens when you get got a name like he has? PA. Or too relaxed for your own good. All right. Uh, let me do this. Your Insta. It might just be House of Gog, but yeah. Let me just go. Let me ask him anyway. 
Um, other than that, I mean, um, I'm waiting on so I'm waiting on Galactus Blast. I'm waiting on the um, Spider Man. I'm waiting on another Watcher. Oh, they're all coming on Sunday. Um, I don't have any other bones on order though. No, so no, no, nothing really else. What, is what are you for? Anything for you? Um, besides the alien, um, I got that. Um, we call it Asajj Ventures Mythos on pre order. Oh, it's um, nice, yeah. The, the, that's the what is one fifth, though. It's one fifth, you know, yeah, it's one fifth. And the uh, Kuharic brothers sculpted it. See, he oh, can wow. say he can say their name right, Kuharic. <laughs> Kuharic. See, he can fucking speak English. And oh, uh, what are you fucking saying? Was, uh, you, we keep you, calling them the Kucharak you, brothers. Um, yeah. I actually think the Kucharak brothers sounds cooler than the name they actually have. So yeah, I, 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 I thought that's, uh, to me, that's what it sounded like it was spelled like. But he, uh, I remember watching Randy Bourne. He said Kuharic. Yeah. So like, okay. Kuharic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kuharic. Kuharic. Even after yeah. Randy Bowen said it, we still fucked up every time. Uh, we should listen. So yeah. When your God speaks, you should listen. <laughs> so basically, at House of Gog, and uh, they're doing a contest tomorrow, which is there for their 5K uh, followers on Instagram. So congratulations. Oh, nice. Nice, BA. And, uh, look forward Congrats. to seeing uh, what you're giving away tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to, I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah. Sure. Also, fuck off. Also, we've got the uh, uh, Gulliman and the Chaos Space Marine diorama to review as well. So we, we will be unboxing that very soon and uh, reviewing that. Uh, just need to work out when Gio's getting his ass over here. Well, I've, I've been trying to call you for the last three days, but you've been too busy, and you? You've been, like, you know, trimming your pubes and growing your beard and all sorts of other shit. So you've been too busy. to, to sleeping is important. Yeah, it is. <laughs> But when you still look homeless, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, I let my girlfriend cut my hair last week, and she well fucked it up. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. uh, how's the gog? Yeah. When your gog speaks, you listen. <laughs> you also listen. <laughs> uh, I just got the Galactus bus in, and uh, should get the promo flash soon. The Galactus Bowen bust, um, General Giant, or are you talking about the Sideshow one? Sideshow, uh, what you got? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, the Sideshow one looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get that in. And also, apparently, it fits in the Detoff nicely with the Watcher. Amazing. So that's what you want. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's a, great, that's a great pairing up, isn't it? That is. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing Blaster as well when you get it. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, I got that. I got Orco coming. Should arrive tomorrow, the exclusive. And That's then for one I, cap of the way. And then, yeah, and then uh, Jan, uh, bless him, who sent um, he's he sent a hand to to Ian to get done. So hopefully we'll be on our way with that soon. In the next okay. week or two, should have a replacement hand for Skeletor. So. No. Oh, he actually sent it to Ian because he was. Um, he originally... sent it straight. He sent it straight to Ian. So. Oh, um, awesome. He sent it straight to Ian, um, so that's on its way to him. And then uh, I should get that all, you know, need to get re-sculpted and get that fixed and sorted and, you know, Okay, so uh, last time his girlfriend cut his hair, his wife was pissed. (laughs) 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 Uh, Oh, poor, poor dog's too hot. Did you say you were going to go get a beer or what are you doing? Nah, let's go, fuck it. I'm going. I was going to go get a beer. (laughs) <laughs> Just get going, you lazy fuck with you. All right, you, you're me... in. Oh no, you're actually in your room. I just realised you're in your kitchen. No, I'm in my room. Um, so if I do this, I hate multitasking. Um, that one. That one. Oh no, no, it's not that one. Application. There we go. So how long do your chats go on for? Oh, now we get them down like round. Two hours, you know, we, the, the, the old days we, we'd go for like three and a half, four hours, you know, but it, we, we got to kind of refine now, you know, so fucking sometimes we get cut off. <laughs> you get cut off a lot. Yeah, yeah, you get cut off a lot, didn't you? But uh, last week I peeled it and they reposted it. So, um, you know, we didn't get cut off this last show. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we don't get cut off on the hunting show. <laughs> that would suck. All right, so this All is right. a cabinet. This is a cabinet that I recently picked up. I actually got this really cheap, this glass um, solid wood display unit. I got. I managed to get all my CGCs in the bottom there. 
So nice. I've got uh, I've got about 140, 150 CTCs in there, um, which isn't too bad. And on the top, I've got all the, uh, you know, I've got all the statue parts and, you know, my, my Greek warrior beads and all that shit. So, and that's, and that's the space. Yeah, they're pro- proper, they're from, they're from Athens, man. I've got them for you, special. But that's the, how much space I've got up on the top there. I've got a unit that's being built for the Red Hulk, for the green and the, the transformation and the Red Hulk to go in. So, and it's going to be slightly bigger than that unit. So hopefully it will fit. Yeah, this is uh, just I, with the with the glass display off. You can get to have a look at the, this repaint and rework that Ian Wilkinson done on my Red Hulk uh, Premium Format exclusive. So you can see the paint job that he done. You can see the colours and things on that base. You know how he's managed to. Uh, you know he's had a lot of contrast and things. And he got the old barbed wire and stuff going through it. Uh, I think it's Blinoff sent me this, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Blinoff sent me this lot. But this took me forty five minutes to make that fucking gun. I want to see what looks like in Punisher's hand. With my little screwdriver, <laughs> so like proper like like die cast gun with movable parts. Look at that paint job, man. That's one of the things as well as I love doing is when you take something out of the box. Uh, you got to be the case. It's like in, from a display. I mean, when I say box, yeah, you take, you take them out and you see it again out. It just like you know, it just reminds you how fucking awesome the piece is. Sometimes. Having pieces in boxes is great because you don't get dusty and it's great to have it behind glass. But, yeah, it sucks not, not, not being able to see it in its full glory, you know? Yeah, I mean, I just I just love this paint job that he done on this piece. Ian Wilkinson fucking killed this, man. Really love this paint job that he done on it. Yeah. I took that yellow va- yellowy veinage idea from a variant cover as well. Um, so, you know, I, I really like that. It's good contrast on that because usually it's purple and it looks like a cock. That's all I see <laughs> with a big fucking purple vein. It just looks like a cock. It just looks <laughs> like he's got cock arms, and I can't get past that sort of look. So I saw, you know, I think the sort of the yellow um, just looks a little bit more violent. It's a little bit more like he's toxic. Do you know what I mean? The purple just doesn't work with the red. It just doesn't work. So sure, Murray. Um, sure, Murray is saying with those CGC. So, will those CGCs be affected by the radiator heat in the winter? No, that, that radiator is off. Never comes on. Okay. Good. Good. Never, ever, never. Because um, I like this room actually to be cold. Even yeah. uh, you know, it's better for statues to be cold rather than to be hot. Well, also when you have a room like the, that as well. Um, for example, my office upstairs, I never need to put the heat on because my fucking PC and the monitor makes the fucking room well hot. So, yeah. I like it though because I actually like the rooms to be cool when I go into yeah. them. Now, my wife can't stand it in the winter. She won't come in here. But for me, I'd love coming in cool and down. Well, that's a, that's, that's fucking, fucking double boiling. bonus then. Yeah, winning. <laughs> uh, Adam in the house as well. Adam is on. Welcome, brother. Uh... Got a couple of reviews from him coming up. So we've got the, uh, we're, we're four on there. we got, what's it for Adam? Uh, Darth Maul, uh, Mephos. We've got the Iron Studios Vader and the Mephos Vader as well. So we've got Perfect. those coming up. And he also might be doing one for the um, uh, Henry Caval Superman custom. Sweet. Right. Yeah, so there's some pictures of it. So you can see it. Ah, it was empty. <laughs> I saw this picture, man. I just wish I could go back. Look at yeah. that. Castle Grace going nice. Right out of 1980 fucking three, that is, mm-hmm. or 84. I mean, do you remember them days, Alex? Well, decent. Yeah, you could just walk in, man, and they were just all like that, like, all neat and tidy like that, <laughs> all together. <laughs> okay. Around. Okay, you just, Joe, you just wish you that. could fucking pop in there, couldn't you? Just fucking yeah. be like, yeah, I'll take one of all of those, put them all in a box. Yeah. Tape them oh. up, put them in the loft. Don't touch them. <laughs> Don't touch them. Fucking hell. Oh, man. They, they wouldn't even last getting out of the shop. You'd rip them open before they even got Yeah, the I'd shop. get two, though. You get two of everything. Two yeah. of everything. Get two of everything, yeah. Fucking awesome of pictures, I mean, like, if you remember as well, though, like, near uh, where we lived, um, Edgeware uh, Hospital. Yeah. You used yeah, to have yeah, a car, car, they used to have a car boot sale. Yeah. And um, <coughs> they used to get used to get some great deals on the on yeah. the, on the He-Man stuff there when we were kids. But uh, uh, Archangel was saying, "I'm missing that purple vein." That explains why my wife's always disappointed. 
<laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, your girlfriend will be Critical fine. Critical mass, yeah. Critical mass in the house. Um, there you go, Christopher. All right. There you go. Just to remind me, the picture there. This is the piece that Thor got in. Yeah, this is the uh, Zionite Darth Nihilus, the Lord of Hunger. He's from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. And, um, I thought he was uh, the character from uh, Spirit Away for a second. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. So he's like basically just a, a, a empty shell. He has to like drain force energy from uh, other force users. It doesn't matter if they dark side, light side, anything to to survive basically. And uh, he's he's uh, he's like they call him the wound of the force because he can't stop consuming other life forms, you know. But he's he's really powerful. They had to like gang up and take this dude out because. When's when's his arc? So when does that happen? He, he he's in the video games. Uh, he's oh. in the Night City, like with Darth Revan. Oh, that's fucking. And, uh, that's vast oh. shit. That is. That's um, our boy Vass. Yeah, he yeah plays, that's plays. Vass level shit. That is. Vass is like one of the best players in the world. Apparently, he's like well, high, well, really high up on that game. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. No, it's, the force uh, is strong with Vass. That's why we let him kill people. <laughs> uh, that's what we say to all the mods when the mods join. We say to them, basically, look at the rules. When the rules happen, you know, if anyone breaks the rules, basically, yeah, let, let us know, put it to the group, we'll vote, and then they're out. If, if you know, if there's a mass vote, unless unless Vass says they're out, they're out. And, then, uh, and it was also <laughs> like, and the other rule is just don't upset Vass. Don't upset Vass. Don't upset. Uh, our last, our last uh, mod was uh, Adam, actually. Uh, we said to him, look, these are the rules, basically. Yeah, to blah blah blah, and don't upset Vass. He messaged me separately, and going, "Is that a joke about Vass?" I was like, "No, no, don't upset him." <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Do you know what Vass is? Vass is like, Vass is yeah, like one of that. Vass is like, you know them fucking guys. You know them guys that keep tigers. That's what. That's what it is. You know, Alex is that. You know the that gay cowboy guy. You know that who's in jail at the moment. As oh, Alex, King, I'm yeah. I'm the other weird guy. You know who's you know, and Vass is Vass is the basically the lion. That's the situation. We have we have him, we have him on our team, but he's more than capable of eating us at any moment. Who are you so the, we just try to keep we try to keep him nice and happy. <laughs> who are you, the one with no legs? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm that guy. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> At least so my kind of tell, 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 tell me some details about this piece, like um, for what's the what's the ES? What's the what's the run? What's the what's it's, the price? It's uh, sixty five uh, edition size. Um, it was like six seventy five price, but it was yeah. uh, I think it was two sixty shipping. But it took it like six weeks to get here, you know, due to the you know the situation. So they sent it on a boat, and then they, they had it in a canister in California, wait for it to clear, uh, you know. Um, lost in the house and uh, no, no, uh, no breakages with that because that there's no, no mixed media there. That looks that's all sculpted. Yeah, that's all sculpted. Yeah. It's got a lot of looks texture. High risk, like high risk breakable. Nothing. That no. um, sorry, that saber looks really good. It looks fucking yeah. photoshopped. Jesus. Yeah, it's it's it, they're really bright. The problem yeah. is is that they're, 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 they're too they're too bright. So you got to buy like a dimmer. Because if you let them go like they are now, they'll melt the housing. So you got to get like a demo <laughs> to kind of turn it down. Oh, and uh, the, the, yeah. the, the Revan is the same way. And uh, yeah. it's like they're like blinding, like really. Yeah. But uh, yeah. He, he's this is his third one. He's doing the whole Sith Lord line, which suits me fine. Because you know, what I gotta say is like the 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 guy who made this. I mean, this is really good for him. Yeah. Uh, delivery delivery on this and the uh, the Raven have really stepped up. I think this looks fantastic. It is yeah. it's great. We it's need to get great. him sending us some shit because I could do his fucking having a little review of that. That looks fucking great. Well, he was. I'd he love did. to see that. He did. Well, have he I did. got one? No, no. He sent us the uh, the Phil Heath. Yeah, I won that yeah. one. It's, it's no, no, I'm saying it's uh, Zion. Yeah, I know who it is. I, I don't want yeah. fucking. I, I don't want a big bodybuilder. I want fucking one of them. That's what I would. I could do with. He, it. I mean, you might be able to get a hold of one because I think they said the European ones haven't shown up yet. So looks great. It yeah. really does look. It looks it's, fantastic. It's a great piece. Impressive. It's a great piece. Great yeah. piece. And I got to clean up them wires, but yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> What's with that? Is that like what is that a proper mask? Where'd you get that mask from? I actually got that off of eBay <clears throat> and uh when I knew this was coming and it didn't come painted, so I sent it to my boy Jay Remy and he painted and then this uh that's a uh Sith Holocron 
I also got it out of e off of eBay. All the Sith Lords, they all got different color ones. So um, <clears throat> I put that in there with them. See, like, right. you, yeah, see, see right. you see Revens, yeah, you can see them all right there. Yeah. Vader's is actually black, but it lights up red, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you do you do? How do you find the actual ones that go with the right? You have to go onto like Star Wars Wiki for that sort of shit. Um, yeah, you, you kind of and like the one the guy actually made it easy. The guy that made these on eBay, I can share the link if anybody wants one. Uh, just hit me up. And they actually he actually labels who's goes with who. God, that's much better. That's so, that's, that's the cool. kind of stupidity I need. I need that kind of stupid <laughs> shit buying. That's my kind of buying. Yeah. I have to say though, the um, out of all of those, the the weakest ones. Uh, are, both, are the two middle ones both sideshow? What's that other? Oh. Well, actually, the one okay, the one on the R right that's the uh sideshow Kylo Ren, yeah, and then then that's the Iron Studios one next to it. Uh, I got it at yeah. a good price, and uh, I gotta see, and that's got a custom head, you know, with because yeah. it doesn't come unmasked, you know, and uh, so I got them good price, like I got the sideshow one for 350. And I got the um, Dyn Studios one for six fifty, and that and that, that yeah. was two hundred edition size. So that usually goes for crazy money. Wow! And a lot of I people didn't even know, didn't even know that existed. Both, though, Phil. I didn't even know that you existed. Keep, you're keeping them both. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them both. I mean, <clears throat> it's uh, they're nice pieces. I, I think I plan on whenever I move and I got more space, I can kind of spread them out a little bit more. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. I might. I'm actually thinking about having because they're both from uh, the Force Awakens. I kind of like his outfit in the last two movies we kind of had like that cape that he kind of shrugged off a little bit so i'm thinking of having the uh, sideshow one converted um a good you idea. Know, for the outfit so i'm gonna hang on yeah. to him wait you know i want to have the vader uh converted i've seen people mod it so like all his chest boxes and his belts and stuff light up and uh so but just do it with the current shipping you, know, you can't do it mm. so now this is not the time definitely nah, so i just grievous looks great as well that, I got, that's, I got, that's, though, that is. that's another that's one. I got, I got him cheap off of eBay. He doesn't have a box either. I got him for six hundred. I remember. I, I think we had a couple. <laughs> yeah, but, I think uh, we had, how did you get? How did you get that to you? Because that is notorious for breaking no, in the guy, the, box. The, the guy he actually lived around here. So you lucky son of a bitch. He's like thirty minutes away, and uh, yeah. I went and drove and got. It. I'm, I I want to have his uh, sabers done, but like every, the, the arms are just too fragile. I don't think they'll survive yeah. the trip, so I'm not going to do it. No, I, think the, um, I think the XM one's been scrapped, it seems. I haven't heard anything about that in a long time. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Uh, if they were still doing it. That XM one is fucking ridiculous. Though. I mean, I saw that in... Massive uh, it was. 2000. Were you there when that happened? Yeah, I think, I think was, so. I think, was it the year before you or not? I can't remember. No, I think it... I, I've seen that one. It's, if, if it's the one I'm thinking of, his arms are all fucking stretched out. So it's massive. It's a massive piece. Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. And basically, he's got his uh, kind of speeder where it is literally the, the, the size of a car tire. His speeder yeah. is massive. That's crazy. And um, if you were to, to have that piece on order, it would be a, an expensive piece as well. A low edition size, but expensive. But... I haven't heard anything about it. The problem with the Star Wars um, pieces is, uh, I think, I again, I had a conversation on a post. Uh, they're so protective of their line yeah, that you, you can't show anything or mention anything until it's in the really? real final stages. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a shame, really. Big shame. Uh, there's you, Gio. This is you. Oh, no, my, I, you know, I waited for this for a long time. My boy, uh, Two Face, he sent me a graded the Venom coin. He also put in some masks and stuff for the wife and me, Nick, obviously my boy, which was nice when this all this COVID nineteen shit was going on. And I, this, this, this was lost for about six weeks. This was like lost all over the place, and eventually it turned up. So, buzzing it was really about nice. this. It was pretty much really, really nice. By everyone, yeah, it was. Yeah, really nice though. That loved that coin. Nice graded coin there. <laughs> Yeah, there you are. See, all the graded, two graded coins together, the Spider-Man and the Venom. Nice. Okay, then this is the Sideshow um, Avenger line. So this is the uh, Captain Marvel. This actually looks pretty nice. For, for this this is the one-fifth. This is the one-fifth statue yep. stuff. Yep. I, I mean, um, uh, you, see, you, you look at that Hulk that they've done in that line and you realize that that's a, it's a massive piece. Uh, so. X cross X says uh, General Grievous with four lightsabers would look sick. Uh, yeah. GV, the coin is always a nice touch. 
And Tech No 15, which Joker statue is your favorite? I just picked up the OG Sideshow statue. It's my first Joker statue. Um, it's the best that's, one. Keep that's, that. the one, that's the one to go for, brother. That's the one. I've got that one up here. Um, someone mentioned they were looking for one the other day, and I actually was te- was was considering selling it because it doesn't <laughs> go silence, cave troll. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go with my collection. I mean, um, I have very few DC pieces in my collection, and I looked oh, I at have the a Joker. Why well, no? But I looked at it and I was just like, it doesn't really go. I was even going to look into putting it with my horror pieces because it would fit in there. And I'm just thinking to myself, what should I do? What should I do? I had a split second thinking to myself, I'm, I'm, I might sell it. I might sell it. And then I just, I, I spoke to my girlfriend, and I was just like, Nah, I ain't going anywhere. I ain't going anywhere. It's fucking awesome. Wicked piece that is. Yeah. yeah. So that that's that I mean, if you're talking quarter scale, that's the best joke. I mean, there's a nice um custom um Jack Nicholson one that looks fantastic. Very um, nice, yeah, yeah. It's a really nice, nice one. You mm. get the old mime version and you get like the colours one. That looks fucking amazing too. If you're into movie sort of versions of these characters, but you know, if you're talking about that, then you go in there. If you go one third scale, it's a completely different ballpark you've got to go yeah. with it's probably prime ones once because they've done a few of them. Well, the one third scale, the prime one, um, I can never say the artist's name, is it Benjamin? Yeah, yeah, I know B- you're talking B- about it. B- B- yeah. Uh, the guy who Bermejo. did it. Um, sorry? Bermejo. Bermejo, yeah, that's yeah. the one. Uh, so basically, the guy, <laughs> the guy who did the fucking back cock. And um, basically, he, he did the, his Joker, the prime, the prime one, has five heads, and all five of them are fucking amazing. All of them are amazing. So, yeah, Rod, yeah. Rodney's getting that one. Yeah, yeah I mean, a good when, choice. When basically what happened was I saw the um, the Batman, and I think he had three or four heads, and I looked at them and I was like, oh, "That head's that head's awesome." But I don't like this one. I don't like that one. But this one's awesome as well. When I saw the Joker, I was just like, "Oh yeah, oh man." Wow, you know, every, every all of the heads were fucking awesome. The one where he has the bat rag in his eye is really, really nice. Really nice. Really great piece. Um, these are the measurements, then sorry for the uh Captain oh. Marvel. He uh, looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks nice. That's that. Yeah. That's exclusive. Uh with better the, um better masthead than the uh premium format, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, since the collector in the house, that PF goes for crazy money now, man. Yeah, man, I know. <laughs> crazy money. Alex butchered that name. That's what I do every fucking time, man. I do. I butcher. I have the name butcherer. What up, Ryan? That's it. Yeah, Ryan. Not, 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 his, not his strong suit names. I'm afraid English in general is not his strong well, suit. Oh yeah, reading, reading is is uh, yeah, is it's my not point. many suits that are actually too strong for you, are they, bro? Numbers. Uh, you're good with you're good with your I'm due good, numbers. Uh, I'm good with numbers. I am good with numbers. Yeah. Uh, this is a Highlander. Fucking, fucking Rayman, Whoa. motherfucker. Yeah, I do get Rayman uh, moments. So this is Kurgan from Highlander, and I am um, really nice. excited to, to see this. Uh, while I've got this on, um, Geo, take over, and I'm going to go and get a fucking beer. So, cool. Kurgan. Grab me one way there, bro. I'll get you one. I'll get four one as well, yeah? Oh, please. Yeah, get, get <laughs> three, I'll get three beers, all right. <laughs> Three beers for you and me that he's going to drink them all. <laughs> now, this, this actually, this piece really is quite exciting because I, I, I don't think that movie pieces, I don't see enough of them. I really don't. It's quite upsetting. I'm a massive movie fan. And for me, this is a massive deal for this piece to come out. This is fantastic. Yeah, I hadn't seen this one. This was, uh, yeah, this guy, I could definitely see him making a great statue, man, because he was, he was. He had a lot of looks in that movie, you know, and he had like late on when he got into the modern day, he had all that kind of punk rock kind of thing going on and everything. And yeah. It great also villain. opens it. Great it villain. also it also opens it up, doesn't it, for, for them to make a Ramirez and obviously uh McLeod as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they can make both of those characters and, and then they could come back and make um another Kurgan from the obviously future. from from yeah. the future where he's like a punk rocker style. Yeah. So it's quite clever that they've done it the way that they've they've done it like this. I yeah. think I think it looks banging, man. It looks looks fucking really cool. It's just from the the first battle, isn't it? Where he's yeah. been introduced, the Kurgan are an ancient people. Yeah, Clancy Brown, man, he, he did a great job in this movie, and uh, does he does a good villain? Uh, 
actor. He was the voice of Lex Luthor in the uh, animated. Uh, He's Shawshank film. Redemption guard, isn't he? As well, uh, yeah, the one who, shoot, who shoots loads of people. Yeah, that was him. He's like their marksman, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he's like got a booming voice. Big guy, man. Looks looks a monstrous guy. He, he was on The Mandalorian, six, too. 6'4", four, 6'5". Six, oh, yeah. Alex told me about that. Who's yeah. he in that? He was on that episode. Have you seen the show or, or no? I haven't watched any of it yet. I... You'd like it. You, you I think you'd like it. Um, But he was, it, they had a prison episode. And uh, he, I forgot the name of the species that he that he played. He kind of looks like a devil kind of dude. These horns and shit. But uh, uh, yeah, he was he was in that too. Oh man, this guy fucking wicked. He was really cool in this man. So I mean, this is great to see that somebody's a company's making some movie pieces and trying to crack on with this license. This is a great, it's a great reveal. Yeah, I think the piece looks decent as well. It's, it's going to be one of them pieces. Was deep as fuck. <laughs> Dang, before we drink it, let me go hit the loo right quick. <laughs> I'll tell you what else I got you, George. Go on, I, got you, you get? I got you one of those hippos. You know, the one... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, got I, 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 I need got to go get my, I need to go get myself a drink now. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so I'll go over the comments if you want to do that. Uh, I don't know what you want. So, yeah, Kogan is uh, excited about that. Uh, uh, the first... Highlander, I lo- absolutely loved it. Um, absolutely amazing film. Uh, great soundtrack, all done by um, Queen as well. Um, Mark Johnson in the house. Um, going through here, Sinister Collector. Uh, Archangel, Ryan in the house. Luke, uh, Luch by Reader. Luch, I'm going to start sending you a fucking comic soon, I'll tell you. Uh, Mark Hedlund in the house. Um, it's a shame they don't have Connery likeness. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of actors around who who their likeness um, it's not like it was is now. The originally with merchandise, all their likenesses were uh, separate, and uh, you have things like um, Mel Gibson, uh, Sigourney Weaver, uh, and other car- other people like that who won't release their likeness at all. Um, I think the other ones, Harrison Ford, is quite difficult as well. Um, Sinister masterpiece. Actors. Yeah, this actor's been in loads of things. I mean, I don't know what they were just saying, but he was in um, Shawshank Redemption. He was in The Mandalorian the other day. Uh, oh, sorry, I say the other day. I watched it the other day. And uh, he was in a few other things as well. Uh, the statue with the sword, I'll take. Yeah, the sword is badass. Already said they can't do... Uh, that's a shame. They've already said they can't do Sean Connery's character. Uh, I need a rim just for. Uh, Alrighty. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've got, I've got a few movie pieces. I'd love to have more movie pieces, to be honest with you. But the problem is, is uh, a lot of the movie pieces are not that great with likenesses. Yeah, so, uh, that's always an issue. You're right. You're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to uh, drink. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I had to do that as well. So. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. So, what would you? Uh, why would you go coming in soon? You got anything on oh, your Other than soon, other than the Alien, and everything else. I think all the. Uh, I think uh, Venture is coming out to September. I ordered two, count them, two uh, Royal Guards <laughs> from Factor because because uh, I want to pair them with the Emperor and have like you know the Emperor with his security detail. Because you know this, the Sith Lord thing won't be imp- won't be finished without a Palpatine, you know what I mean? So, and uh, they did some uh, some custom ones that those get made, and I got one pre order. So, so uh, there's, a, there's a there's a custom Emperor coming. Yeah, so I'm gonna pair that with the two Royal Guards from uh, from Sideshow, and uh, then uh, I can pretty much you know anything else after that is just gonna be icing on the cake, you know. Yeah. This can't, I can't make it without a foul. Geo, you know, stop fucking rustling. Fuck your mama. <laughs> what was I going to say to you? Um, did you not? Did you not like Sideshow's uh, Mythos um, Palpatine? It, it's I like it, but it's no. not going to work with this. You know, what I mean, it's because uh, that's one fifth, and you know the way these are, they all kind of like face. They're kind of facing forward, and that one's kind of like off to the side, and. It just, it just wouldn't work with what I have here. I might get that eventually, you know. On like, I, I, I love how your OCD works, man. It's just like, did, yeah. um, did you did you not like the original one? I I've seen it. It's I think 
the mixed media is what bother me about it. You know, um, I'd love to have him on the throne, but like when I saw, because the the the, uh, the doctor we call it, the guy who prepares our statue, he has it, and I saw it, and uh, I like the likeness and everything, but it's just the, I just something about the mixed media. It's too much cloth, and it's just you just see his hands and his feet, and I'm used to, now that I'm getting these like sculpted robes and everything. Wow. It's just it's I just can't uh, I just can't do it. You know, that's the only thing. <laughs> It's almost. It's, be, um, it's because it's because the capes that you're getting in are sculpted, so you can see yeah, the work. Exactly. It's work you can see. Exactly. Whereas in when you've got big heavy robes on a piece that don't have any tailoring, really, it feels really lazy. You can't get past that. You just yeah. look at it and you're just like, "There's just no work." It looks like they've done really partial sculpts of things and just thrown some thick baggy fucking cloth on it. Yeah. That's yeah. that done. I think it almost looks a bit too slouched as well. When yeah. I've seen it, he's, he's, like, he's really slouched, really far down. He's like, almost like he's fucking chilling, watching the football or something. Right? That one, you can kind of, I think you can kind of pose it a little bit. Is this the, the biker? You can pose him, and um, which is strange for a statue, but you can. Yeah. And, um, I, well, the, the other thing I do like about that Palpatine is he's got Luke's lightsaber, like you can put next to him. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, you know. Well, I'll be with oh, the, the from, um, from the bit where he's like, "Oh, yeah, you <laughs> want this, don't you? Take it, strike me down with it. <laughs> and your journey to the dark side will be complete." <laughs> well, with the um, with the original Hellboy, he actually has wires in his arms, so he can pose his gun. Really? Yeah, hmm. yeah, and he's actually real bitch to pose as well. Like literally, it's literally like you have to go down like that much. Go up, go down, you go up. Go, you have to do it like you, you know, kind of go like a little bit each time. You can't just go like yank, otherwise you'll break it. You have to go really yeah. slow. And yeah. it just goes like this. You put the arm up and then it, and it just goes like that. Yeah, <laughs> it just you goes like... Go. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, I want you to point up there. There's like, no, just keep the gun down. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, I think Victor actually had it in a way where... He had it like in a really good way, and I haven't got in that position yet. Yeah, I've yeah. not made it that far. I think my one's about like there. My yeah, one's he, about. He had it in a really good pose. I think my one's about <laughs> fucking seven o'clock. Right. <laughs> I think Vic, Victor had it like like my feet like that. <laughs> it's close. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. So yeah, these these are the other pictures of um, Kogan. So Kogan. yeah, this is um, uh, Chronicles. Um, I love the first movie. I really do. I, I yeah, need I to watch so. this. This is on my list to uh, my my girlfriend. Educate which, your missus. Uh, well, she's um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm 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 dubious because she's just watching whatever I want to watch and <laughs> keeping me happy, which I don't. I'm not used to. And um, yeah, you'll pay later. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I know. She's gonna ask for a baby or something. But yeah, um, once, once the baby has been delivered. Then mm -hmm. it'll be yeah. We're watching Love Island. You go fucking and sit in your own room and do your shit. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, this this is on the list actually, and uh, I don't remember the second one though. Is the second one? Is it shit? The second one's fucking terrible. Yeah, oh, I can't okay. remember the second one either. I remember the one with Mario Van Peebles. I can't remember which one. That's that three. That's three. Okay. That's three. Second yeah, one. The, the, se the second one. The whole they tried to change the whole concept and basically made them out that they were aliens. From an alien oh, planet, fuck and you. they bring oh, fucking they, and they bring Ramirez back. And it's yeah, I remember John like Connery's in it. It's a fucking yeah. mess. Mm. Uh, they, they basically just, they, I mean, they're basically. It's about the ozone layer. Is, is it's like Ooh. futuristic. It's like apocalyptic. It's like the ozone layer is is like um, failing and all this, and they have to go to the com the, the company and you know in the sky and try and fucking sort all this. It's just mm. a bit like, oh no, this is bad. This is yeah. really bad. Somebody literally oh, wow. got got hold of this and fucked it all up. What? Apparently, uh, Clancy Brown, who, who plays uh, Kirkin, he's the voice of. Um, so he's Sergeant Sergeant Sim Starship Troopers. I knew that, yeah. But he's also the voice of Serta in Four Ragnarok. Yeah, he's Lex Luthor he's... on the uh, animated show. Oh wow! Yeah, he and does Mr. a lot of. He must Mr. do a lot of voices. Yeah. He would though because he's Mr. His Mr. Voice is in, really uh, really good. SpongeBob SquarePants. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chronicles production piece tends to look good. Yeah, I mean, one of our mods we made we made a comment about uh, whether 
uh, Chronicles could deliver. And one of our mods actually stood up for them and said, look, he has the uh, the old King Conan. And he said he's really, really, really happy with it. He says it's really heavy and it looks amazing. Because I remember when the old King Conan came out, there was a picture of a woman lifting it up like it was nothing. And uh, he says it's super, super heavy. But yeah, They're making it David Bowie too, right? Uh, Chronicle, yeah. yeah, Chronicle, yeah. Labyrinth, yeah. Labyrinth, David mm, Bowie, yeah. 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 I love that. I love that film. Uh, Gerard is name, isn't it? I think his name is Gerard, isn't it? Gerard. Um, it's Gerard, yeah. Yeah. This is then the, uh, this is going to be the website exclusive print for Connecticut's uh, G's. So that's going to be that. Cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, this is, I put this in here because our boy Jason, he, uh, <laughs> he's, he's after all of these. So this is the Cobra Koya. Uh, like the the hot, hot, like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is like from like to, yeah, Texas Chainsaw so Massacre version. Yeah, yeah I got it. so basically, uh, someone put a comment in saying she's gonna have a really bad back, which made me fucking roll off. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that. There also people are complaining that the this was like an affordable line when they were like uh, $80, $100. Now, this is $120, so they've got to go, yeah, they're, the gonna, they're gonna keep going up, yeah, so. yeah. Uh, this is the on area creations. Uh, this is uh, from, I think this is Full Metal Alchemist, if I remember. This is Roy. Um, so, yeah, very cool piece. Um, these they normally do like one six pieces, I'm assuming. Um, that is just uh, making an assumption there. So, yeah, Full Metal Alchemist. Which I'd say. Are, you, are, you, trying, are you trying to say the English word alchemist? Yeah, alchemist, alchemist. Alchemist, yeah. Is, it, there, there, is there an L in it? Oh, I, I can't read. <laughs> I'm illiterate. <laughs> so there's a switch our head says. You keep saying well. Alchemist, and I'm thinking, is Alchemist. this like a Batman villain? It's, what the fuck? Is this Batman villain? Alchemist. Alchemist, Alchemist. Alchemist yes. That's it. Okay, so then you've got that one with the glove, and then you've got the one with the uh, super lighter there. There you go. Oh, so he's an arsonist as well as an alchemist. Uh, and apparently I was right because he is full metal. Yeah. Okay. Apparently we've got 115 viewers. Uh, ah, not congrats. bad. Not bad. Awesome. Make sure you click on the uh, the thumbs up if you enjoy what you're watching. Uh, so go through those. Um, I've only ever seen the live action uh, or the uh, the one that was on Netflix. So that's probably going to upset people. Uh, then this is the Aliens Warrior Alien by uh, Prime One. And this is, uh, yeah, 67 centimeters. Ooh. My problem with this is the fact that this is the regular version. So the regular version is the head where he has his tongue in and it has yeah. the egg open. I think this what? looks much better than the fucking Dulux version. So this is the regular version like that. And yeah. then you have, like, so there'll be a few images of this. So you've got the back, you've got the egg, you've got the thing on the wall, uh, you know, cool. Go. You got the egg there. All the shit going on. It's fucking awesome. And then um, what happens is, I still loads of details. The acid there. Uh, the level looks two. Quite, this looks uh, fantastic. Really it's quite a scale, scale, isn't it? Quite a scale. Yeah, um, is they say no scale. There's not a scale yeah. to it. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, thought that. Thought of that. His ears are pricked up. It's like no scale. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll come back because uh, there are other pictures, but there's a sore on as well. For some reason, I got that there. Um, and then you've got the Super Sons uh, production tees. But then this is the Julux version. So you've got the one with the tongue out, and uh, you get the bust to hold it. So you get the other head, and you get a closed egg as well. Mm, so you yeah, can switch so you can switch out to have the tongue out and the closed egg. Um, I think the tongue in and, and fucking egg open looks much better, personally. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't wait for money on the on the. On, on the I know PJ said he wants this one. Yeah, I would go with the uh, the rig. Well, the rig. Yeah, yeah. There you yeah, go. but you get up to it. Changes. Yeah, but options. then again, if get I a couple knew, of eggs and all. I don't know because with the guy with three, if I knew that the guy with three bust was going to be the way it was, I wouldn't bother ordering it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Pop God Shock Soundwave Generation 1 Classic Scale Statues is by next one of their cell shaded line. Yeah, this is quite an, a unique line. 
seen a couple of pictures of these being shared in hand, actually. The Optimus uh, Prime the, in the hand Optimus looks really Prime nice. Looks, yeah. It does look really nice, yeah. Yeah, really nice. Uh, then these are the, uh, so this is what Chris, I think Chris Verdi was asking for. So these are then the um, Queen Studios Captain Marvel. So you got that. Very, what very do nice. you think? I think it looks really nice, but the thing is, is I wouldn't buy it because I'm not really into the character. So for that, I wouldn't buy it. But I Does do think anybody it like this character from the film? <laughs> no one I talk to likes it. They all think. They don't, um, they don't like they don't like her they don't like Larson and they don't like the character it's not like, yeah. quite funny well this this guy does because he's got fucking two of them <laughs> and there's no like there's no regular head he just got two of them with the with the helmet on that's crazy yeah yeah huh. that's it that's the bus yeah yeah life size huh? and, they're, and they're not cheap either yeah I can imagine I have no issue with the movie I don't think the issue I mean the movie's fine it's 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 okay. Nothing to overpowered, huh? overpowered her, man. They overpowered her far too much. Yeah. Ridiculously. I like Jude Law in the movie. I think he was my favorite part of that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the you mean in the first, like in the Captain Marvel movie? Yeah. Marvel, yeah. 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 He's, he's good, though. He's a good actor, Jude Law. Yeah. He was good in uh, Road to Perdition. <laughs> Played a hitman. Is he assassin? Oh, yeah. Man, I was... Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that for a long time. That's That's a good, it's a very good film, that film, with Tom Hanks. Oh, it, where Tom. he's the, um, he's kind of disguised as the uh, journalist, isn't he? He's got the camera. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Takes, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, okay, you were saying this, the same people buy the dinosaurs and the one buying the Transformer line. The Transformer line is 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 huge in um china asia transformers are so big in china it's ridiculously big ridiculously big um they're carrying the movies basically it looked like several of those movies flopped um in america and worldwide china fucking saved them oh they yeah love those movies uh yeah this is one one third scale and this looks yeah. this looks great really nice it's, it's, there you go no. Uh, this then is the uh, sideshow uh, Cyclops. So, George, picture, yeah, picture taken in the dark. It seems. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's what you sent me. Yeah. This is the, this is what has been going around the lot. A couple of close up pictures of the heads and things. That's so shit. It's fucking horrible. I don't, honestly, and as well, it's so amazing because there's so many people going. Yeah, this is. This is this is. I prefer this. I prefer. And I just don't fucking understand what people. Are you know, that's almost like is yeah, that's yeah. horrible. <laughs> that's so bad. It's almost like you're watching a fucking porn movie. You're waiting for the money shot, and it's like the guy <laughs> just fucking like a little bit of fucking pre cum comes out. You know, then he can't fucking finish. <laughs> He's got a little. It does. It does. There is a, an element of a little jizz sperm sort of thing coming out of his eye, but it's also quite strange as well because. It actually doesn't make sense because there's no heat that comes from them beams. Yeah, it's their pores, aren't they? They're, 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 there's no heat. They're not. They're not hot. So I don't sort of understand the sort of. It's almost like that's a flaming or just like a tss sort of situation going yeah. on where it's so hot. I just I I don't get it really. I think yeah. this piece looks incredibly dated. To be honest, I think it looks really when you go back to the body. You know, it seems to lack any fucking textures or anything on the suit. The sculpt looks really, really basic to me. I just think yeah. it looks really dated. I don't think this is a huge improvement on the, on the PF that they did a really long time ago. Um, it just looks incredibly disappointing. I don't get yeah. the pose. The base looks doesn't look great. Not not a fan, personally. I, I really don't like it. What no. do you think, Paul? It's so, I like the XM better. Is something I like For some reason, I like the outfit on this one better than I do the XM. Because it's classic. Yeah, because it's, it's classic. Yeah, it's well, like me, the cartoon. Me, me, Actually, per yeah. me personally, I, I prefer like the older style of uh, Cyclops with the with the you know the full hood on and everything. I'd really like to see some X Force. Out so so uncanny, unca uncanny Cyclops. Uncanny, yeah. I like yeah. I'd like to see some X Force with the white X and everything. I think those would be really nice, you know. But uh, I, I, as a piece, I do like the XM better than I like this one. I definitely think that if you're like a fan of the animated series, you'd probably, I mean, that this is a little bit closer to that than the XM right. version is. Mm. Um, 
I still think that, you know, like you've got Max and Cyclops are pretty nice and you've got this. I still think Gravid Labs is a better Cyclops than this one. Um, I would take, I would rather have Gravid Labs as a version. And Gravid Labs wasn't great. It was just yeah. all right, you yeah. know. But I still just think this is a bit like, ugh. Yeah, I just think it's a bit of a letdown after so long, really. Uh, and with some of the other pieces of the line. It's very strong, that line as well. They've made a lot of great yeah. pieces. This looks fucking amazing, this. This looks fucking cool as fuck. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, I don't know much about the character. He's kind of, if I remember, he's a, he's quite uh, like a piss tank character. He's a bit like a Deadpool kind of thing. He's a, he's a villain. Um, and yeah, but he's a villain, but he's, he's a bit of a joker. Um, but this, I remember him from like Marvel versus Capcom and stuff like that, but this looks, I think this looks awesome. I think this looks really nice. He, he, um, he, can, he can adapt to yeah. and learn your fighting style when yeah. you're fighting him, like, and then overcome it, like, super quickly. Yeah. That's why he's it looks got... Like, it look, looks like Martin Canal sculpted this. Yeah, that's why he got shield for Cap and the, the arrows for uh, Hawkeye. Cause, like, is, that what it, is that what it is? Mm-hmm. So uh, he can adapt and he uses them against you. The sword, oh. I forgot why he has the sword, but uh, yeah, that's why he has that stuff. I mean, the base is super light. I mean, that has got to be the most minimalistic base I've ever seen. Yeah, that is super really light. Needs- that is yeah. really does it. It's not that. I mean, when if you want, if you're looking for a piece that's like all figure, like you know, that has got to be the most minimalistic, you know, simplistic base I've ever seen on, on one yeah. of these pieces. And it doesn't look bad. It just it's a, it's a surprise. No, I think it works. I think it works really well. It fucking yeah. looks beautiful, this. Yeah. Like, I'm really, I'm really digging the. I'm loving the, the red, you know, inside of the cape and the white outside. And yeah. The shading, the sculpt on the body. The pose looks great. I, re- I really like this. I did hear, I've got a few friends of mine, uh, you know, who are actually big Taskmaster Master fans, and they're actually really unhappy that the shield is facing outwards away mm. from the body because it's quite an iconic shield. I remember yeah. Mike Wells telling me that, you know, the shield's quite iconic with a big fucking... The big, I think it's got a big T on it, and it's quite an iconic like symbol of the character. And the fact mm. that it's like facing out and away, he was quite disappointed with that. Stuck of Inferno says the Bowen Taskmaster statues looks better. I was about to say, uh, the Bowen was really- um, and Edward Diaz said the sword is from the Black Knight. Okay, there you go. I knew it was for some reason he had a sword. <clears throat> yeah, well, really the, like reason, the reason why they're making this is because he's the villain in the um Black Widow movie, right. which was meant to be out in May. But it's been delayed until the end of the year because of all this. Uh, and they've drama. obviously planned this accordingly, and now we are in. You know, it made that it would have came out, and now we're yeah. a month after, and this statue's out, so it's perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once yeah. again, Marvel license supporting Sideshow wholeheartedly and making sure that their piece comes out at the right time, that the character becomes a bit more mainstream. Yeah, well, that was what would have happened. Is yeah, the movie would have come out, everyone would have known who it was, and apparently there is. Um, I can't remember who he is now, but there's a big actor playing Taskmaster who is, they haven't actually revealed it. Oh, it's so cool. it's someone like see. fucking Daniel Craig or someone like, it's big, big name like that. Big name. Yeah. I yeah. think the statue looks superb. Love the sculpt. Love how it looks. Loves the pouches. I think it's got a lot of contrast of colours. He's also in the textures. PS4. Oh yeah, he is in the PS4 Spider game, yeah. Looks yeah, shit. Comes. Really like it. I like that mech head as well. Yeah, very nice. And I'm, I've got to say, like, you know, fair play for them to be first out of the bat to do this character. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is not, this is not, you know, to, you know, you got to remember that when everyone comes out and says, you know what, there's another fucking Batman, another fucking Spider-Man, how many fucking Wolverines, mm. you've got to turn around, credit, you know, with credit where it's due, where criticism when it's needed, you know, credit yeah. where it's due. They've come out and this is a fucking character. No fucking knows. They look like they put a lot of effort into this. I mean, if they'd have given Cyclops half the attention this fucking thing got, that Cyclops would be the best Cyclops on the market because mm. that Taskmaster looks the nuts to me. Looks I, think really what, impressive. I think one of the issues as well is when there's so many projects going on, certain things get kind of shelved for a little while, get put to one side. And then and they it doesn't do them any good, though, you know. It doesn't no, no, no. do them any good at it all. Doesn't, it doesn't, but I think that's what happens, is then it's like, all right, well, we'll release that one, we'll release that one, we'll release that one. And then all of a sudden, like, Magneto is all of a sudden, like, fucking well too late and well out of yeah. date. And that's yeah, what I, I, I think that's what I see with the Cyclops. I, I see something that should have been released four years ago, five years yeah. ago. 
and it wouldn't have been as disastrous as it looks now. Like the Magneto. I still think that ma- Magneto is junk. I don't think it's nice at all. I think it's Hugo, another one that's really delayed. Hugo in the house, Hugo uh, Cordoza. This Taskmaster just seems to be on point with today's standards, with the yeah. contrast and the texturing and the, the mixed media and sculpt. It just looks like a piece of today, of now. And I, I, I dig it, man. I think it looks great. Yeah. I like it too. Uh, now we need a Martian Manhunter. Mark Cartland says um, they should do a different switch out portrait with the iron face mask. Is that, that is it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Is that not it? That's that there. That's what um, GV said. Unless, unless they're talking about the, uh, the film, there's one in the film It's a bit different. It's almost like a, it's almost like a shield, a grated face. It's mm. different. I'll tell you something, what I would have said, yeah, the head's great, but fuck me, you should do do a switch out for that arm because that's going to be deep as fuck. Yeah. That sword out like that, yeah. that's going to be deep, motherfucker. That's going to be hard to pose. Yeah. I mean, you could have it sort of, side onward so it's really wide as opposed to deep um so you've got a side angle sort of view well but then you I'm might really, be able to see I'm, the shield bow yeah maybe yeah, i think so i think but i just i do like that pose that they're showing you from there you know yeah i do like the pose that they're showing. that's really bad posing on the cape that i don't like that at all yeah, i heard some people not happy about the uh, mixed media cape is it like yeah but- yeah, it's nice though. Mixed media mixed with sculpt is is the answer, you know. It really is. I mean, it isn't great for like overly humid humid True. countries, but I mean, chucking on a, a you know a piece of mixed media over a really nice sculpt, if you can get it to like, because you can get it to flow better, much better than you can sculpt them. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's different for like you know, it's it's a different thing when you've got like you know when we're talking about um, you know Darth. Um, you know who? What is it called? Nihilus. Uh, yeah, Nihilus, and, and we're talking about the Emperor. It's different because there's no sculpt details. So having it sculpted as a cape, it adds all this flow and all this thing that you can't create. But when you've got like this lovely sculpt, and you can just put a little bit of a wisp on it or a little bit of mixed media around it, um, just to, to sort of uh, accentuate it, it's it's just quite. It's, you know, I always like it. I, I I added the cape to the XM cable you know and it's a really big ad it sounds stupid but it really does add a lot to that piece mm. having that mixed media cape on there it really does it adds so much to the piece i also so, want to add that i got the cape and uh i literally left my cape for uh, a good two weeks in a really bad position of waiting for george to come over with his ocd to sort it out <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it worked and i did it you did it looks good could, yeah, couldn't bear does. looking at it anymore <laughs> it works. Big fan say, anyway. Congratulations, Sasha. I think it did a f- fantastic yeah. job here. Really, really, nice, really, really, nice. really like it. And uh, then this is oh fuck, what is this one? Um, I did actually put his name up on the top side. So remember it now. It's, it's a called. general or something. I forget what it was. It is. Yeah, it's <laughs> called. Oh, fuck's sake. It's not Genghis go. Khan, is this it? This is the Three Kingdoms Five Tiger Like General series. The fourteenth okay. uh, one foot one quarter scale. Huing Swangs, yeah, whatever. So this is the um, Three Kingdoms, Five Tiger, like generals. Okay. So this is um, I, uh, no, no, uh, Infinity Studio. I've seen a couple of these, and um, they look really, really nice. The the uh, mixed media is really nice. Oh, the sculpts are really nice, and they always look great. Always look great. It's just I don't know the kind of series that they're from. Super colourful. They're big as well. Because obviously that's really cool colourful. Like it's a very vibrant looking piece, man. That's the sort of thing that yeah. would seriously stand out on your setup. Mm. I gotta remember so uh, yeah, it's cool scout horse, a big, big fucking thing. It's like that guy from Conan. Conan, what is best in life? Yeah, it does look a bit <laughs> like that, doesn't it? It does look a bit like that. <laughs> right. These are transformers. I don't know these are licensed, but I don't know who they, they are. are. They're they're uh, they're a company, it's it's on the bottom there. Yeah, it's on the so bottom there. That's, yeah. that's, that's oh, not, is that, uh, Azure Sea? Who? Azure Sea? Maybe I, you're definitely butchering that fucking name, but yeah, this is a license A-Z-U-R-E. company. A-Z-U-R-E. A-Z-U-R-E. And then C. A-Z-U-R-E. E. Azure. Yeah. Azure C. That's what you said. And then a C. C. S-E-A. S-E-A, yeah. 
Is there a C? So these are. Is that the, right? I don't think that's in the right, but never mind. What if this is the bold fucking cougar anyway? <laughs> I am the butcherer. All right. So these are, um, yeah, all, all of them come What is now. best in life? The murdering of the names. <laughs> Ruin the names. <laughs> oh, shit. They're big. I didn't realize they were that big. Yeah, they're massive. Yeah. Fuck. That's not is this Darkest or no? Oh, I don't know. No, this is, this, they, 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 what they, they're not. Um, they're not fully painted yet. They're not oh, like okay. the, the way they're being shown. I think it's to show like the sculpt more before they slather it in paint. So I think it's just, this is just a, this it's a non-coloured sort yeah. of version. So you can sort of see what sort of sculpt and things you're going to be looking at. Yeah, looks great. Oh, another licensed arena for Transformers, but these look decent. <laughs> Alex, the butcher master. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this XM um, Spider-Man 299 says went off a pre-order today. So this is cool. What's the price? Uh, maximum edition size on this will be five nine nine. Uh, price, hmm. I think, is... I think Why will it be a max of five nine nine? Because they're not doing the MTO anymore. Well, because of all the issues going on with the kind of ordering uh, at the moment. So what will happen is they'll do a max size... But yeah. basically, if it doesn't sell that, they'll go be will be lower. Okay, but that so won't go beyond that. It won't go beyond five nine nine. I don't know why they don't just set the fucking ES at five nine nine. Well, they they. I just don't I don't get their fucking logic at all. I just don't get their lot. I don't know who is sitting in their meetings, but you need to sit in there and say, "What are you doing? The fuck are you doing?" Because welcome, welcome this, to my this, world. this can always sell <laughs> later. It doesn't need to be selling now. Why does it need to sell now to establish a number? If you've got, if you're saying it's a minimum of five nine nine, set a fucking number at five nine nine because this five hundred ninety nine pieces of this will sell. Yeah, I don't well, see it not selling. Is there's yeah. no other version of it? There's no other exclusive. There's no other regular. It's a, just one statue, one run sort of piece. The only other version is the prime one version. That's been out for a long time. Mm. There's no competition. If you're talking 599, I can't see how this doesn't sell. Yeah, I mean the thing is as well is about selling it over the time and then having to make. Yeah, but them. why? I don't what? get. It. That's what I'm trying to understand. It's like there's a time limit of when you're selling them. I don't. If you have them, you will sell them. What's the issue? Yeah, but you don't have to store them if you don't sell them. And that's yeah, but you have, that's, that's what you're. Yeah, you got. Yeah, but you've got so many fucking. You know I me. Mean? You've got so many resellers and and, and things like that going on and buying them. You know, that's their problem when they've got 20 of them sitting in their house. Well, and the yeah. wife can't watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when the fucking Spider Man's getting sold out, I don't know, but they will eventually. Know, so. <laughs> I'm almost there myself with all these fucking boxes, man. I don't, um, know, where, I don't know where the alien, I don't know where the alien box is gonna go. There's two boxes. <laughs> I've got boxes where you need a fucking review. I've got boxes, of, I've got loads of CGC boxes which I'm actually gonna burn soon. Thing is, with fucking thing is, with XM boxes, was well, no giving them motherfuckers. There's no yeah. give. Yeah. You check them in a loft, you like, or, or in a basement, or in, in like a storage room, and you're like, oh yeah, I just like push it into the corner, or just push it around this beam, or bend it. There's no, there's no, I don't think so. There's, there's none <laughs> of that going on. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you're, you're breaking your beam. Your yeah. fucking roof's gonna fucking fall down. Well, yeah. my my loft hatch ain't that big. My attic hatch isn't very big, so a lot of mine are in my master bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> my master bedroom's full of boxes. I don't stay in it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got. I got. I sleep in the little box room at the back. In a bunk yeah. bed. Right. You're doing a like, bunk like, this, is, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know, so, um, George? I watched. I watched fucking the. Um, I was talking to Natalia. We were talking about like. Um, uh, people who do like similar films and whatever else, and saying about Seth Rogen, uh, you know, how his comedies are like two and a half hours long and it's just too long for a comedy. Yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah. like certain like characters like him, and uh, they're, they're always the same person, and blah blah blah. Yeah, and then yeah, I but... said about, and I said, like, um, George loves Will Farrell, and my sister loves Will Farrell. Yeah. And uh, she was like, oh, who's Will Farrell? And I said, oh, you know the one from like Step Brothers? And she goes, what do you, what do you mean, Step Brothers? I said, have you never seen Step Brothers? I'm like, yeah. She's like, no. And I go, all right, let me just show you this scene from Step Brothers. Basically, they're two adults who act like children, and they're basically their parents get married, and they're living in the same room. And um, I, put on the bunk, I put on the bunk bed scene. <laughs> Man, 
I nearly fucking pissed myself again. Did she, did she laugh? She did. She laughed a lot. Yeah, did. it is quite funny. That's a funny scene. I've killed him. I've killed Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, that is. Yeah, I might talk to you. Uh, then this is the uh, Batman Shogun version 2. It's funny, man. I'm like, I've been a member of all these other groups, man. There's some fucking bitches in these groups start attacking. Like, I've, I saw someone come out and say that this was a like a blatant copy of like a, the Prime One one. Yeah, and this concept is actually from 2016. I was a bit like, you know, how how have you got that? Because yeah. he's because he's standing on a bat signal and he's got one knee up. But I mean, yeah, is that an exclusive thing or something? Like, I'm a bit confused. I mean, yeah. how is it a copy? It couldn't be any. <laughs> I mean, the whole statue is completely different. I, I'm a little... I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. I don't get the logic at all. I really, I was a bit surprised. I thought, wow, that, that's a bit unnecessary. Funny like thing, I mean... Um, it's, it's like, say, it's like saying if, you, if, if um, any Wolverine with his claws out, with his one knee and his hands out with his claws, that's it. It's always the same that, people, it's, a, it's a copy. It's, it's always like, the same. Wow. It's always the same. Every time you post something, it's the same people. Yeah, it's just it's a bit of a I surprise, really. really. People. So, question: Shogun and Samurai; those are two different lines, or uh... nah, same line. Same, same line. line. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this same one will be part of that same line. So, this actually, where criticism might be a little bit forthcoming, is this is the third Batman from the same line. Yeah, mm. they have done a few other characters, but still no Riddler, still no others. <laughs> Might want to well, get on that, Alex, yeah. and have a little word and say, mate, uh, why don't we just so get a Two faced Rodney wants bad. Yeah, yeah that'd but that's be interesting. A, Rod, Rodney, you know, Rodney's right. Two faces, one of them, Riddler's one of them, Penguin, I think, is in the is in, yeah. is in the making. Joker is being made, so we know those two. Well, what you have to remember, well, what you have to remember as well is uh, X. Robin's now. been made, right? Robin's been made. Nightwing. Yeah, the summer. Yeah. But what you, what you have to remember now is we have the uh, we have the core scale license, so. Mm. You know, let's see what comes out. Mm-hmm. Good. That's um, what I wanted to hear. Eddie is up for pre-order and he's literally on his last days, so he's going to be closed very, very soon. I just wanted to say that. Uh, this then is the I saw a view of this. I saw a video of this. Look good. Yeah, it looks really great. Good. There's a bit of a join problem on one of the arms, I saw. Yeah. Well, this is <laughs> the had- uh, Legendary Beasts uh, Studios, Captain America. So... <sighs> Yeah, it's yeah, got really loads nice. of switch outs. No, this is by uh, pictures by my collectibles. Uh, sorry, my collections. Sorry, M. Not Uh Loads of great pictures, great details on there. Yeah, very well painted, clean paint. Yeah, yeah, very clean. Love I the old like, shield behind him. Really yeah, like that. I like I like that pose. Yeah, that's I, the one I like. I don't I don't like this one. It's very uh, like Uncle Sam. You know, like we want you. Yeah, but that's there. But, but that's, you know, that's yeah, what. That's yeah. what. Yeah. Like, this is a nod to history. That's that's nothing wrong with that. I said, tell you what, I'm looking at right now is right behind it. I can see a custom Tifa, which looks fucking awesome. Custom, yeah. who? like uh, Final Fantasy Seven Tifa. Oh, okay, and I didn't know yeah. what you were talking about. Looks good. Right. Sorry, I need to kind of close in. <laughs> oh my god. I can't go to the next goddamn page. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's a box. There you go. What do you uh, think about some... that? Uh, Thor, what do you reckon? I like it. Um, I, it I, strangely enough, I, I hate to say because I usually don't go for uh, like movie ca- movie pieces of comic book characters, but oh. I really, I, I think right now my favorite cap is that uh, Chris Evans one by Iron Studios. The one where he's holding the hammer, that's a really, yeah. really nice piece. I like this one. It seems like one third is really picking up steam, man. It's, I mean, uh, I, I don't, I don't know if I can have a whole bunch of one third shit in here, man. But I, I will say that we and PJ say this all the time. If Prime One gets into the Star Wars game, I'm really in some fucking trouble. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in some, I'm in some trouble, bro. <laughs> but you know what? You know what's going to happen? Is this alien the first one third you've ever had? That's the first one, man. You know. Once you get it into your room, you're going to see what happens. I, I know. And I'm, you're going to be in fucking trouble, you watch. I wake that's up in cold, in cold sweat that's, all the fucking time. That's what Alex did. <laughs> Bought like one first scale Batman, tried to put it in his room. He's like, yeah, this isn't going to work. <laughs> well, I, had the, um, I had the Batman and I had the Deathstroke. Deathstroke. 
and um, I literally took him out. I took the so I opened the Batman, and I never even took him out of the box. Huh. I didn't like it at all. Um, and then I took out the Deathstroke. I set him up on my desk, looked at him, reviewed him, put him back, and I sold them both straight away. Um, with the Batman, we didn't review him in my house. We literally reviewed him. We went to Wallace's house. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is then is the uh, the one third. Uh, sorry, fuck off, Joker. <laughs> the uh, quarter scale Joker. Yeah, so this is one of the poses for that. So like, like. Uh, yeah, I'm, I got. Qu- what does he got his hand on? I've been trying to figure that out for like a week. Serpent, it's like a serpent. Okay, like a yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really cool, actually. Very That's cool. what I thought. But I and then you also got the concept then for the penguin as well. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of big what's, what's he meant to be? Um, it looked like well, a fish it's, market. It's kind the, of uh, is that what it is? It's called the, the it like. It's called like no. a, uh, the Penguin Dabio. A I M Y O. So it's like meant to be on one of those carriages that they lift. Ah, uh, okay. One of the things where they lift them. We got like four carriages. guys carrying somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to be on one of those. It's meant to be some like rich kind of guy. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, this is then the so the live streams that I'll be doing. Uh, so this is the uh, the Thanos and Lady Death will be tomorrow. Ooh, uh, then the Spider-Man to, talk. Can I come in and troll you? Why you at work? <laughs> I can block you. Yes. Uh, then the Spider-Man Two Nine Nine is on Saturday. Uh, Jessica Cruz is next week, and then Nightwing Samurai is the week after. <laughs> And there's a few more. There's more coming as well. So there's that. This then is the uh, Narin, um Is it Azog? Uh, yeah, by yeah. Matt Matt Marucic. Yeah, I've seen man, one of these. He painted this up. He looks mental. This this is yeah, saw, Narin's uh, kit. I saw one of these in Thailand in the massive gallery, and it looked absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. The thing is with this, like you look at it and you think, oh fuck, I mean, it looks sore. Yeah. I think to myself, fuck, he looks yeah. like he looks sore as fuck. You know what I mean? This is uh, this is huge as is one third, by the way. Yeah, it would be massive, wouldn't it? Because he's he's a big fucker, isn't he? Uh, I didn't I really... didn't notice the leather faces on his uh like his uh yeah, his, tunic. Yeah, that, I was like, wow, I missed that in the movie. That's what I love about statues, man. You miss shit and you and you like the Rancor, for example. As many as long as I've been watching fucking Return of the Jedi, he has an earring on. And they, oh, they showed really? the, I was like, holy fuck, they got an earring. Yeah, it's got an earring on. I came in with side. But yeah, the Ranko has an earring on. So does Darth Maul. I never yeah, I, knew Darth, I knew Darth Maul did. Yeah. yeah. But Darth Maul's got like a stud at the top. Yeah, yeah it's a that. stud yeah. in the middle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's um, so cool. Yeah. And you obviously you can see where his uh, hook goes through the back of his fucking right. shoulder. That's uh, fucking elbow just, well. yeah. I can, you just think, ah, it's pain. Like, ah, it's yeah. just pain, like, <laughs> So yeah, it's a really nice piece. I think it's limited to like 38 or 39 pieces. Really, really long. It's like mine. Um, this is the custom Banshee so that's getting made. So we should be getting this one into review. Which one? I don't know yet. So hopefully... I like the one. green. Do you? I like that one. Yeah. Uh, both are nice. I don't know. I'm that's sure they're fucking green's classic colours. Uh, I don't really know the character too much. I was... I'm sure so, it's, yeah, I was so the yeah. and then this is code signature collectible, so they're going to uh, a different way, a different direction. So they've got they've gone with the uh, the cool, the small kind of cutesy characters. Uh, they then got across to the life size bust, and now they've got across the quarter scale um, pieces here. And I want to say that I know where this is from. Actually, I've, I looked at this, and I know where that's from. I've been I've, been I've been stalking these guys trying to get them to make a fat Darth Vader. <laughs> every, every time, like, every time they come out to do make them fat. I um, <laughs> I was um, I was really, 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 really. I have their Wolverine, Deadpool, Batman. Mm. I was really looking forward to their um, uh, Spider Man, and uh, I'm I'm not buying it. I'm not, I'm not I'm not into it at the moment. I'm really not not impressed with it. Yeah. This is uh, this is from um, Silver Surfer One Hundred Seven. Hmm. Is that where he's holding up? The, was he holding up the hammer? No. Is he holding the board? Maybe you know what it is. I do. He's on top of Surfer. Yeah, he is on top of him. Yeah. 
surfers on the base. Yeah, but what, is he? Is it just his? Fi- is it just his fist above his head then? Yeah, yeah, he's just holding his his fist up. Yeah, and basically, huh. he's he's sidestepping on the Silver Surfer. The Silver yeah. Surfer's like hanging over. Yeah, during the cover, you said you wanted. That's that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's that. Yeah, it looks it looks very close to that. Is this licensed or not licensed? No, it's not licensed. That's why it's in the unlicensed category. I'm just wondering why they've got they've got all their fucking name on everything so boldly. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit brave. It's a bit careless. It's a bit careless that. Uh, when this I saw is... it, I, I shared this. I, I think I've shared this, or it, maybe I haven't shared this one yet. But I just was surprised by just how like how big. I mean, it's not like a little symbol. They've literally it's massive. And it's, it's very a bit like, okay. Yeah. Very like, okay. But uh, yeah, that I'm looking forward to seeing how that looks. I tell you. Yeah, the, thing is, the, the thing is with me though, I, you know, it, it's very hard to get like to get that sort of cape. Yeah, they need to they need to do that right because that's where that um, that sculpted that sculpted cape. Yeah. yeah, I know it is. Yeah, but that's where thingy fell on its ass. That's where Caleb's one just it, that that hot, the way that all went together and it's the joins in it and it's fucking horrendous. It was horrible. Yeah. You know, and people in, in the custom community, they, they've got this nice bullshit fucking stamp on their forehead where they just lie. And they're like, yeah. oh, it's not, it's fine. But if that was a licensed piece, them, them same people would crucify that fucking piece to death. Oh, yeah. It would, never, mm. it would never, ever get away with that. If that piece, mm. if that had the same sort of joins and poor paint and crap job that that thing had on it, it would be murdered and laughed out of town, but because it's a, the, because it's a custom that it's like oh no, it's fucking best doom ever. It's like mate, it double well, standard. problem with um, with that, with especially that group, uh, the Royal Custom Brotherhood. Everyone who was in the group were just too scared of missing out on the next project, so they just said it was amazing. And then I'm not it. talking about I'm not talking about that particular group in general. I'm talking about no, just but, how yeah, some, no. how it can be because that yeah. no one talks about. Like no one highlights these things. They're just like. It's like it's not an issue. It's like mm. Franco Calissimo's fucking terrible head sculpts and some of the last level stuff. They're fucking horrible. They're horrendous. And the they're not. They're, fucking, they're, you just the don't mention. Really you just bad. don't mention it. And you, you you act like it's okay. And it's just a bit like, wow. I can see these. I can see these same names coming up. If that was a light, if that was Sideshow's Rogue, they would blast that shit everywhere and put it on blast. They would. They would crucify that piece. Mm. It's just quite funny to see the double standards that go on, you know, between license and customs. Like licensed is fucking for me now. Licensed companies, they're up against the hardest critiques going. Yeah, customs I think are getting an easy ride by most people. Very easy, oh, of course. But also, I don't know whether it was his sculpt or whether it was actually the factory, because the factory fucked up that big time. I just thought it'd be, you know, there was a lot wrong with that piece. You know, there's a lot. I watched a load of reviews before I saw it, and I was like, wow, you know, this is like a flawless piece. And when I got there, I was a bit like, oh, it's not quite that, is it? I got surprised. Mm. And when, when uh, Thingy told me about how you put the head on and off, I was like, what? <laughs> Why has nobody discussed this? Like, what are you joking? You got to, like, put this big, like, me- metallic, heavy fucking thing, scratch all the face. It was like, oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's bad. It's a bad idea. <laughs> But you know, it's, it's the same with this doom. They're going to have to get that cape bit right because mm. it, it, that you know, the suit and stuff needs to be right. If it's going to be sculpted, it needs to, you know, needs to be right. It's quite hard to do. This looks nice. Is it licensed? To- yeah, yeah. I think this is like licensed. Yeah. Okay. It's quite it's, expensive. Um, it's quite expensive. Yeah, looks nice. Well, the sideshow one. When uh, the Sideshow Toothless went from like being um, two hundred dollars or whatever, it was two fifty. Yeah, um, people were selling it for like a thousand dollars at one point. Wow. Yeah, and it's a really small piece. This one's more of a diorama with the actual um, you know, the other guy as Good well. Good switch outs as well, isn't it? You got a mast, a mask, got a flaming sword, and all that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's nice. Yeah. It looks like a nice piece. Very cool. It says custom Alex Ross bus of the Green Goblin. So it's going to be nice. Thor out. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I said to the guy, maybe scrap that smoke. You need to scrap that smoke first of all because uh, 
the smoke is always really, really hard to do smoke, especially at factory level, and um, you don't need it. Um, also, I just said to him, if you're going to do Alex Ross art, keep it as simple as possible. You do not need to overcomplicate it. He wants to add so many Easter eggs on there. I said, simplify it. Really, really. <clears> that's not because anyway, that's not Alex Ross, though, is it? That's not no. Well, no, he's trying to do Alex Ross, but the thing is, is then he's adding all these other things on the base to it. And I don't think you need the Oscorp there. I don't think you need the Green Goblin name. I don't think you no. need the smoke. I don't think you need all this stuff. I think it just adds more and more elements that are going to get fucked up at factory level. You know? Yeah. And uh, good call. Oh, also, did, did just he, gets a bit too busy. Did he, did he ever wear goggles? I never remember him wearing goggles for some reason. Um, I think in newer ones he had goggles, but I don't think he wore them. Yeah, okay. I mean, because I've seen several pieces that he had goggles, but I just never remember him. Yeah, Sideshow has goggles as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he kind of has them above like like this, but he never really wears them. Oh, okay. Not much. Uh, this end is a custom homeboy. I don't know, George sent me this. I just liked it. Okay. I've seen it somewhere and I was just like, I kind of like that render, that design. It's quite okay. a cool looking thing. Same with this juggernaut, it's been printed, but it looks really decent. Oh, that's massive. The, Jesus, I just saw the sofa. Huge, man. Oh, I it's didn't realize just, it. I just quite, saw the sofa afterwards. It's like clean, isn't it? It's pretty clean, that print. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks clean. It looks clean. There's a ruby that has its powers, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I, I don't the really know too much. Is it the Bowen? I don't yeah, know. It does, yeah, it does. Yeah, the Bowen has a ruby or the coat. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Sorry, they do. Yeah, it's got something to do with this King Kong bust, which I really like the look of. Yeah, uh, that this... be coming too, ain't it? I... Kong versus Godzilla supposed to be coming soon too, ain't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I think it's been delayed because all this shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, this Everything's is got uh, catch up now. Lady, um, I can't remember the name now. So I did, did you man or something? Did you uh, like the mine. first one for or not? Which one? The uh, the the Kong movie. Yeah, like the. Did you like the Skull Island and the? I did. Uh, was it, it Destroy All Monsters? It nice King of Monsters, King of Monsters. Yeah, it was, it was a different uh, take on what the Skull Island was. Uh, was different other than seeing them, you know, scale the Empire State Building every time. But I mean, you know, it's stoic, classic stuff. But yeah, I like Skull Island. It was good. I had uh, your boy Loki in the end. Uh, Samuel L was in it, it was good. I fell yeah, asleep three right. times. I fell asleep three times watching Godzilla. God, Which one, King of Monsters? Yeah, yeah. This it last sucked. one, my favorite part of the last one was that Rodan scene. That was, I thought that was the rest of it was all right, but I think I like the Rodan scene the best. <clears throat> Rodan scene, what bit? They were like they were the Air Force and they were kind of. They were kind oh, of yeah. trying to lead them somewhere. It, it was good. I, I just remember. Yeah, I enjoy. I like it. it. I like all the stuff with Kadira in it. I like the fucking Kadira's wicked. No, they, mm -hmm. I think I think you pronounce his name. They pronounce his name differently, like Gidora. King Gidora. Yeah, King Gidora. Yeah, Gidora. Gidora. Monster yeah. Zero. I can't remember the character's name for this one. Sorry, but uh, this looks pretty cool. I'm painted by SSOL, SO, LA Studios. Yeah, there's that. Uh, and then this is uh, Alpha Free Magneto. I quite like this. Don't like that hand. Like that. I don't I like, like that. Other, I like the other way. His right arm is fucking horrible. He's well too high. Yeah, but look, keep going. They change it, they turn it the yeah. other way, and that looks better. Yeah, I don't think that I would have advised to like pull that the, the the palm up thing away because with your palm up, your forearm is higher. You understand? So your yeah. shoulder and then your bicep, then your forearm, it sort of like goes upwards, and that's a little too straight. Yeah, I don't think you do that with your palm up like that. I don't think you you move it. You know, it just looks weird. The other way is wicked though. If you turn that round. It's actually a really nice magnet. It's very different as well because you've got to hover and then his legs open up. See that? Yeah. Like he's, if you, it's like, uh, no, keep going because there's like a hover version and there's his legs open. Yeah. See, like that. So they've got a few, there's a well, lot of switch like outs. That's like Age of Ultron, isn't it? Um, so how does, like that. That, how does that work then with his legs open and closed? Dude, She's don't fucking, I don't ask me. Yeah, yeah, is it two statues? Yeah, no, no, no. 
But it must. I think this. I, 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 like I, I, when I saw this, shig. when I saw this, it was like um, loads of switch outs. It's going to be loads and like loads of heads and loads of options. So yeah. I'm guessing that you know one can have him, you know, hovering and have him down. So yeah. looks really nice mm. though. He's a quite like that. He's so thick as well. I mean, really, really jacked up. It's pretty jacked. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I think that looks better with his legs like that and his arm out. Still thin arms to our person. I, just, I think I think these arms are too high. They're very I different. Think that Again, looks, that looks different. better, but I don't know. It just looks too juiced up. Really. For some reason, that left arm, I prefer him like holding the cape for some reason. Like Usually, you see him kind of holding his cape sometimes. Yeah. 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 So many Magneos in the market. Oh yeah, man, this man, is the problem yeah. with this. There's just so many. Yeah, yeah kind of blind to it. It's be been honest. done to death. But this, I quite like this as a. It's not bad for that angle. Yeah. yeah. Another one. Another one. You said another Magneto. Me. There's another fan Jeez, man, Magneto. How fucking the... big is this? This is, this is the ultimatum one That's... from uh, from the uh, the Ultimate Universe. It's fucking Roddy Coleman oh, look at that Jesus Christ yeah he's jacked as shit look you keep going around he's got more pictures just get his big other massive yeah. yeah that's an ultimatum too big man <clears throat> it's well too big sometimes he's drawn that way and that's a reference that people want to use I prefer Personally. that I don't know about the hammer but like I, I like it when you yeah I like that yeah. There. yeah that's I really like, cool yeah I'm back to uh, there's got Nightwing. I don't know where that's from. Even George. I think this. I think this is a custom base that people are making for Nightwing. So it's more in fitting with the other P1 um, one third night uh, pieces. Oh, so that's meant to be P1 Nightwing. Yeah, that, I think that's meant oh, to be okay. him, and they're doing a base for it so that it fits a little better with the other pieces that were made. Yeah. Previously. Phantom. Yeah, this was a cool concept, wasn't it? I, I, no, I, thought, um, I thought he looked a little bit midgety though. Yeah, it looked like a little bit of squash. But you he know, looks a bit um, midgety there. It looks like yeah. it looks a bit midgety. I don't know what the appropriate PC word would be for somebody that's midgety. Like, is dwarf. Well, that's the politest way. I mean, I get dwarf. <laughs> Should I say dwarf? Is that PC? Is that P? I'm not a PC know, guy. Little person. You know? I don't know. But you know, um, I mean, this was Billy Zane in the movie, yeah. and uh, originally Bruce Campbell was meant to be the Phantom. He was he was second in line. Hmm. He was so close, yeah, so close. Yeah, I, mean, I remember that movie. I've oh, never I seen it. That would have been cheesy as fuck. <laughs> it was. It, it, it was. It was cheesy as fuck. Anyway, but it would have been um, even worse, dude. It would have been it, who's that? Is that Sentry? Yeah, he ripped open uh, uh, with, Aries? Uh, with Aries. Yeah, yeah. That was in uh, the siege that happened. <clears throat> nice that concept, man. Uh, I just said a uh, custom She Hulk. Yeah, she looks really cool. She's been painted up. I think she's been pro painted by someone, but looks really decent. Was it's this nice. the one? Was this the one that was just the STL file and someone bought it and printed? I don't know. Maybe. I think like the paint was... on this and like like yeah. her thickness, her physique is quite hot. Century stir fry. We tried to get in touch with you today, but we couldn't find you on fucking Facebook, and no one knew who the fuck you were. So, uh, you're yeah. like you're like an, impo- an invisible man. It's Alpha Free. This is then like a lot of uh, venom. We want you to come on as a guest, you fuck. So send us your proper name so we can find you, you anonymous fuck. With send, you. send me a PM. Send, or send me an email, Alex at Red Tide. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's it. I just I'm on Facebook Messenger, so hit me up. Yeah. <coughs> and this then is uh, this was a tease then for the Caleb um, Weapon X. As you can see, it looks fucking amazing. I can't wait to get this. <laughs> I'm joking. Man. This is just a tease. And then uh, that was then another tease. That's the tease. I don't know what yeah. the first one was. That was a stupid I'm thing to do. No, no, no. That is that is the same thing. It was a tease. It was a tease of a tease. It's like fucking yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's the last one. Oh, look at us, man. Two hours and twenty-eight minutes. Look at that. Oh, can you see the timer? Yes, I can. Yeah. Oh no, one hundred and twenty people watching. So make sure you click that thumbs up. And uh, question time. Question time, motherfucker. 
Catherine Zia Jones was in the first movie, apparently. Oh, I love um, Catherine Zia Jones. How fucking hot. GV <laughs> says that um, she holds a parking meter as a switch. I like She Hulk. She Hulk's looking good. I, was, I, I keep forgetting I can do this. Yeah. I want to see that one uh, where she's on the beach, where she's holding that 800 pound dumbbell. Yeah, that, that, that was from um, a card. That's from a card. That yeah. was like a 94, 95 flare, wasn't it? Or the X, I think the X so. They, they, did, like, they did like a beach set, didn't they? And she's yeah. on the beach with them. Yeah, it's and like Michael like, Beach, uh, and they're all and lifting, then, and they're looking at her. <clears throat> and then they got one with Wolverine, where he's got the fucking hot dogs on his fucking... Yeah, it's uh, the shittest one. He's making hot dogs. He's the shittest one out of all of them. <sighs> uh, Century Stir Fry. Love these reviews you're putting out. Cheers. Uh, the market needs another Magneto. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Max yes. some tree chunks. We need to do uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Not many questions, actually. I was trying to go I would, I would, to I would really love to see Kong actually fight Godzilla properly, but it's not. we all know that's not what's going to happen. Nah, Godzilla's going to fucking well, I think the, He's a lot smaller than Godzilla, though, isn't he? Nah, because um, see, that's, no, what, they're, that's no. what they're saying at Skull Island. In Skull Island, Skull Island was set a, earlier on. He's a bum, Scotland? man. He's a baby. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Saying he's he's, he's going to be massive. Oh, yeah. Massive. So he gr- he grows. He's going to be matured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they were doing that where he was like, young in that, and then it gives him the time to develop. He grow, yeah. Okay. And then he's going to have a. He's going to have a thing, but it's just <laughs> wet. it's just it's just a thing about weapons, isn't it? I mean, it, this this yeah. is the thing. It's like when someone gets in. If someone gets in the cage. You know what I mean? And they're like. A level stand up boxer, you're like, okay, that's great. Like, you know, you're like world champion level boxing, that's fantastic. This guy over here that you're going to be fighting is an A level championship level boxer and also black belt jujitsu and also, you know, four weight classes above you, (laughs) six, six, six times, you know, six time fucking Muay Thai, you know, champion. Then you're just like, it's just got too many weapons, you've got too many weapons to win. And that's well, where say you, that, I, I say, never um, understand how ever Kong could ever win. I get they that say, he's how can smart. a king be a god? Well, yeah. Let's, let's not get into stupid things like that. It's not going to make any sense at all. But I mean, I, I know that Kong, I know that Kong is smart, but I'm trying. I'm trying to see. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand. That's, that's got to be it. It has to just be through intellect alone. Is the only way the problem solving. But oh, my yeah, thing is, is, oh my, what's up, homie? Yeah, late motherfucker. My, my thing is, is Kong doesn't walk away from that first meeting with Godzilla, does he? And learn anything other than, yeah, I should have stayed alive longer. That's pretty yeah. much what, what, what the theory would be, wouldn't I it? Should have, I should have eaten more bananas and fucking <laughs> like, got some more energy or something. You know. I should have lifted. I should have done some lifting or something. Uh, Juggernaut has the power of the Shitterrack or something. Yeah, Shitterrack. Yeah. yeah. Finally got you as live. Yeah, I mean, you're late, man. We, we're fucking heading off soon. Yeah, um, we're going home, man. We're going to go chill. Home. Uh, home. So early here in Australia. Yeah, must, what time is it in Australia then? It's fucking midday. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know when we come on, on Friday night, it's Saturday morning over there. So Yeah, it's, well, I've got, yeah. I swear it's like 12 hour difference over there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. What time yeah, is it where you are now, Thor? It is seven thirty in the evening. Okay. We're, we're we're half midnight at the moment. <laughs> yeah. There yeah, you go. Oh, Omar saying it's nine day at the moment. Yeah, it's not early, dude. No. Dude, my little one's getting me up like fucking six thirty, seven thirty every morning. Six between six thirty and seven every morning. <sighs> you know what happened this morning? It was brilliant, right? So I'm laying in bed. I'm like, I hear the wife's alarm for work go. I'm like, ah. And I look at my son, who's in the middle of the bed, sleeping in between us. I'm like, ha, you didn't wake him. Yes, back <laughs> to sleep we go. And then the fucking bin men turn up and they're clowing around and the truck's outside my house and he fucking jumps up, wants to go and stand by the window and watch the bin men. <laughs> Motherfuckers, <laughs> honestly. Cold there is, there is no trying. escape. There was none. <laughs> when you're on really heavy drugs, it's early. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Touche, sir. Touche. 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 All right, well, that was it then. Yeah, Here we are. Done? We're on point. We're done. All right. The usual guys, uh, make sure you do the thumbs up. Uh, if you're not watching live, make sure you comment below and uh, ask us anything you want to ask us, and uh, we'll answer if we can. Um, yeah, make sure to, you uh, make sure you check out Thor Gunderson. Make sure you check out Darth Castle's channel on YouTube. Subscribe to them; they're as real as it gets. So we plug we plug those fuckers every week anyway. <laughs> when we're not here. I we fucking plug hope, them I, every I, week. I hope, <laughs> I hope that uh, I hope that we are, you know. You got you got to give genuine, you know. Since unfortunately, since the, the since the birth of collective verse that fell on its ass, there's been yeah. a lot of the, a lot of them type of channels that have sort of developed and, and come into it and and fucking look to you know gain maximum numbers, maximum profitability, mm. really really fast. And there's others that you know that just don't get the sort of attention. And uh, I really feel that you know Darth Castle was one of them ones that deserve a lot more subs, a lot more numbers and a lot more support than what they have. So I want to see their numbers go up where they belong, really. What sort numbers are you now for? It was just hit 900, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. so you should oh, be man. you should be on 1,900 as the a minimum. Group, the, the group, I think the group actually has more people in it than the channel does. That's yeah, but you got to put on your thing. Have you put on your group and said, look, you sub to our channel? No, do you know why? Question. It's because uh, you do the live stuff and you do it on uh, Facebook and YouTube mm -hmm. simultaneously. Because you pay for StreamYard, yeah, yeah, yeah. You pay for StreamYard, so you you dual you dual stream, uh, and that way you lose from your uh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, well, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Because you're <laughs> yeah. basically then, if people are, people are lazy. That's yeah, you're on Facebook. Is. They they can if you're, see if you're, you. If you're, if you're, all, if you're already on Facebook and there's a video there. You're just going to watch it through Facebook, and that's how that's how it happens, yeah. I mean, don't judge us. We're only on like you know, we're not on big enough numbers either. <laughs> no, I mean, we've been around for fucking ten years, or no. yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can come in. You can come in and be in this game ten minutes and fucking get past our numbers. So don't fucking listen. Yeah. So don't you know? You take have what we say with a pinch of salt, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, congrats for, on 200 show, fellas. I appreciate y'all having me on, man. It's a pleasure, my brother. It was an honor. I'm glad that you came on. It's, uh, you know, you've been, uh, you've, I've seen you cracking on, man. You, you put out some great content and stuff like that. So, oh, I you know, that. We, I, I, I'm digging what you're doing. And, you you know, you're making your own way as well, which I like, you know, because, it, you know, you got to, you're doing your own sort of shit. You're trying your own stuff. You know, you're not following, you know, you're not following anyone that's doing well and going, well, we'll copy that. Or, you know, and that's pretty much what the collective of shit started, which was, uh, <laughs> this is a form, this is a formula that works and let's copy it and let's fucking, you know, do this and do this and do this. And, and everyone started it becoming blueprints of those kind of, you know, channels. Yeah. Um, in, in hindsight, I'm glad that it happened because, you know, you learn from your mistakes and you learn, you know, what not to do. So it was, no, what, what, what happens is, is that, you the ideology the ideology started off pure and right mm -hmm. but whenever money or profitability becomes into anything that's when you know only really f true friendship lasts because yeah. there isn't a lot to go around and you know if you so if you make like huge numbers then then you can probably really benefit from some certain stuff and certain companies and shit but you know you got you got to sell your soul to get it and yeah. some people are happy to do that. You know, everything's got a cost. Other people are like, no, you can fuck off. It's not going to happen. But mm. at the same time, you, you lose friends, sadly. It is, it is not, you know, you start off with the right sort of reason that, you know, let's all club together and let's make something great. And it's, you know, me and Alex have found it hard just being the two of us. You know, when, 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 when like all of them, because there was like a few of them, weren't there? There was like Collective Verse and there's a few other, like, oh, it started off some fa fractions, factions, didn't it? Mm, yeah. Started off a couple of other things like that. And, and yeah. people thought, you know, if we take, I don't know, a guy's got like a thousand subs, another guy's got 900 subs, another guy's got, tw you know, 1200 subs. We all get together, you know, we can try and like really push something. And it's, I think it comes, starts off as a pure thing. And then once you start talking to companies and once it's like, oh, well, maybe we'll just send you this or maybe you'll just do this, then it becomes, oh, well, maybe I won't tell them about that. Maybe I'll keep that to myself. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just deal with them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
It's, 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 it's a shame. I'm, I mean, the human, to be, the human to be, condition ruins everything. To be 100% honest, when I first watched you guys, it, it was mainly because you guys were funny. Like it, it, the pieces, <laughs> the pieces were stacking there. I, I swear to God. And then after a while, I was like, "Damn, these pieces are pretty cool too." But like, I literally like crack, like watch the shit over and over and over. Like the same, like that. To me, to this day, that Superman video is my favorite video. That scene is fucking <laughs> hilarious, <laughs> man. So we dropped the box. We dropped the box. Yeah, oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> it's funny yeah. as shit, man. Alex is fucking <laughs> drops things all the time. Just the whole video. It wasn't just drop the hot box. You know? Oh shit! I saw. I saw. I was editing one the other day. Like, funny enough, I was editing a video the other day, which was on a uh, corrupted hard drive from two years ago. I'm wearing a Darth Castle t-shirt. Ha! Hey. I've been watching one there for a while back. Yeah, you guys were doing the video. Yeah, had it it was... Um, oh, fuck. It's going to go up soon anyway, because it's just been edited. So it's going to go up. But it was, it was one of them. And I've got Darth Castle t-shirt. But then there's another one where I'm moving the statue at the end of it, and I take it off of the... Um, and the scales and it fucking the base falls off. <laughs> oh, I, was like, I don't really remember it. I really do not remember that happening. And I, 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 had, to, I had to leave it on just for the sake of it because George, you know, I can't, I can't take it off. But uh, <laughs> I'm, trying the, I'm trying to find the one now where it's uh, Darth Castle. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, Pop Culture Shock Alex is uh, me wearing okay. Darth Castle t shirt, and I think it's the same fucking review. Where I dropped the fucking base at the end. Oh shit! Ah, god. <laughs> I was going to ask you for you've you've been now in this this game for a little while. What's what's your favorite part about it? It's honestly it's meeting the people, man. It's it's the pe- the the people that I've met in this journey is is like priceless. You know, when, especially upon going to New York Comic Con. And like meeting yeah. PJ and a Tim and Ali, it's like it's like literally you know these people all your lives. We just known them a year or two, you know what I mean? And it's it's crazy. And and it the show, it I don't even look at it like as a as a show. It's like we we, we the same people every week. It's like how you doing, and you know you get to know P. It's that's that's honestly the pieces are honestly secondary. I swear to God, you know what I mean? So uh, that's that's. That's my favorite part about it, you know. <clears throat> That's it. <laughs> I don't see that. Oh, you see fuck. That? <laughs> oh, wait. Is this you doing it? There you go. Is yeah. this you? Do- <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can read it. Oh, no, my God. Okay, no, why, would you, why would you grab it from there? <laughs> yeah, then. Oh, no. <laughs> Gio looking at him. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It's not that bad. Man. <laughs> nah, it wasn't. Uh, Dove Castle shirt. <laughs> I thought you had it like high and it fell off. That would have been fucked up. Oh, uh, fuck <laughs> no. That's that's like the um, the bad one was the thingy one, wasn't it? The uh, Loki. Loki one. Yeah, that's a bad one. I showed my girlfriend the other day. She was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Whose piece was that? Whose piece was that? I was like, uh, well, it's my and Geo. So she goes, why is George laughing? Then I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you hit laugh. It was both of ours, but why was George laughing if you broke it? I don't know. I don't know either. So, you know, sometimes it's just, I think, where well, you know, don't you? You know, your counterpart's strength and weaknesses. So you just, you're aware that these things are going to happen. No, it's not, it's not, it's not. Yeah, I mean, um, but the thing is about that, was um, you, you know, we repaired it and then you fucking smashed it to pieces because you couldn't get it back in the box and you lost no, your No, 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 I, repair, I repaired it and then I tried to get it back in the box and it broke even worse. The damage that had already been done by you broke and then and then some. So the, the damage was so severe after that. It was unfixable. So I was a bit like, yeah, time for you to... And then the part of you is just irritated with it. So you're just like, yeah, fucking... Let's 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 throw that about. So I did. Jenny shouted at me a lot for that. I bet she did. So yeah, she wasn't happy about that. Yeah, I was going to show you, but then I thought actually I can't because I broke it originally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't find that video. Do you find that your uh, Do you find that your friendship with uh, Thor is uh, with Rodney is is improved by this? 
Um, it's still the same as it always was. Uh, we, you know, we always were pretty much on the same wavelength, uh, on a lot of things, but you know, he, he looks at things a lot differently than I do. You know, he's in the Kung Fu movies. I'm not. And, you know, he, he likes horror movies. I don't give a shit about horror movies, you know, but like, as far as, you know, friendship goes, it's, it's still the same. Um, you know, but, uh, it's, it's just, uh, I'm noticing, changes in other people like other people are like sinking down to our level and, and doing cra <laughs> crazy <laughs> shit you know sinking down to your level and uh you know when when I lick every hole became big now oh, they want yeah, us yeah, to make yeah. t-shirts even uh uh Tan, I see that shit everywhere Tan, he wants I, I want he he started saying that shit so I was like dude I gotta send you a t-shirt because uh sometimes in the post he'd be like I lick every hole I was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that's cool, though, you know. <laughs> so, just finish up with uh, going over the last couple of comments. So, X Cross, thanks guys for the show. Take care, stay safe. Uh, I love when you guys are live. It's like Viagra for my wife. My wife and I <laughs> scream GSD when we climax. <laughs> oh, that's got to be the best uh, fucking comment I've ever heard. <laughs> Alex and Gio, I'll be shipping <laughs> things out this week. Thank you, I love you, bro. Uh, Gray of the two two hundred. Uh, oh, yeah. See you soon. Uh, good show, guys. Enjoyable as always, gents. Thor is the man. Uh, yes, yes. Nick cheers. Oh, fuck. Just shot to the bottom of the comments. I hate what happens. Uh, DCX is awesome. Uh, it is. Should, should be 9,000 talking about your 900 subs. Uh, yeah. Great show, lads. Once again, happy 200. Man, I say 9,000 too subs. close to ours. I want him to do well, but not, not run tight well. <laughs> <laughs> happy 200 show. Uh, two genuine decent guys, thumbs up. I got 56 subs, yeah. But that was all from your son's video, not yours. Yeah, give them subs back to your boy. What's the matter with yeah. you? Uh, statues, our oh, statues family is family. Uh, love that Superman video, got me into collecting. Wow, nice. That was my first piece. Alex and yeah, GM cracking, uh, Joker's mad laughs. Uh, Alex looked like he shit himself. <laughs> yeah, that probably did. No, that's probably when I dropped that piece. Yeah, <clears throat> he, people was a good part. Uh, the statues, yeah, I love Definitely. the meetups. Children, the yeah, I'm big love for that's yeah. uh, at him in the house. Sending your heart, sending your love, uh, spending money, not that much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, uh, what do you guys think of uh, PCS Alex? Review is going to come out in the next couple of days. Um, if I remember from it, why your head today? Don't spoil it, don't uh, spoil it. Okay. <laughs> don't spoil it oh, do stay tuned and see yeah. come on sup everyone sup Ed dude uh, that's why we wear gloves <laughs> yeah. I don't know there's a video oh actually that was the uh, dread, the dread one I'm making fun of George calling him a mime or something to make me roll off <laughs> uh, Yobi from uh, Dupree sup Ed the ass uh it seems like a bliss is showing up when all the work is done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Mark, so you on fire, you on fire tonight, Mark. Uh, Dante <laughs> Dis in the house. Hey, boys, long time no talk. Hey, bro. Welcome, Still listening bro. to Gunship. Uh, I showed up uh, late. Birthday got in the way. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy bro. Happy birthday. God bless. Um, great show, guys. Looking forward to the photo calendar of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. B dub B uh, uh, B dub three is getting the uh, nude geo calendar this week. So that's it. Uh, Rad time was the reason I sold up all my Barbie hot toys and went to statues. After I watched them, it was like some dirty secret for the one six community. <laughs> 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 uh, doing anything for home Comic Con guys? Um. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see when it is and see what we can do. I still need to get Geo over. We've got so many fucking reviews to do, right? I look, around, I look around my room. i got uh, Guyver 3. I've got uh, Geese. i got Stanley, uh, The Crow. Uh, Terry. I've got the three uh, bronze pieces, um, all the Bowen pieces. We've got so many pieces to review. Literally, probably about fucking 40 pieces between us. So we need yeah. to get on to those. Yeah, we've got Definitely. to get on to it now. Now that the uh, lockdown things are starting to calm down a little bit, I've got to definitely make, make that happen because that's, that's the best part for me. Uh, who was Taskmaster a villain besides the Avengers? I know he's all Deadpool at one time. But uh, yeah, I think he's like Avengers. Avengers. He is. His first, his first appearance is an Avengers comic. 
So it, it uh, is. Congratulations, Darth in the house. Too cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll finish up there, yeah? Yeah. Peace, everybody. Let's do it. God All bless, right. man. <clears throat> Be Thanks, safe. everyone. Thanks Bad very love. much. Peace. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll have another 200 shows coming. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>